they play little music in the background, just like quiet back then. You, know? you, you won't hear it in the mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah. you want to take over that, Camilo? Sure. Great vibe, you know what I mean? Man? I'll play some music with you. Yeah, no EDM. <laughs> Said no EDM. <laughs> Who like you? You listen to the EDM, bro? Yeah, he listens to everything. Did you go to the con? Con- EDM, bro. <laughs> did you? Did you go to the to the to the festival they had? You went? Okay, all right. My last my my one guy levels, said he levels, went. Levels. He said it was crazy. He said it was crazy down there though. Yeah, I heard wall to wall people, man. Yeah, crazy. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. So, man, we here today, man. Creative talks. You know, we here with my guy Tim Ajay. He just yeah, corrected yeah, me yeah, on the yeah. way to say it. Yeah, Tim. Uh, Tim Ajay. Tim Ajay. Now, y'all tell me, how many of y'all gonna get that right, man? <laughs> how many of y'all gonna remember to say the Ajay? Yo, it's Tim Ajay, Ajay man. Ajay, whatever. Hey, we gonna get his name right. We gonna let him know right now. His name is Tim Ajay, man. <laughs> I've been named. Uh oh, I just dropped again, bro. It's all right. Y'all see my y'all see my chair, man. I keep dropping down, but it's all good. So we here today. Introduce yourself to the people so, one time. It's your boy Tim Ajay. Okay. Uh, part of the C Collective. You already know. Okay, we are gonna get into all of that. We are gonna get into all of that. Okay. So let me let me ask you one thing though, bro. One thing. You used to go by Menace. Yes, I did. did yes, you? I did. Yes, I did. Used yes, to go I did. By menace. Menace. <laughs> <laughs> Are you lost, bro? <laughs> no, it's not, no, no. Because it's just. Uh, all right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Your seat is still How going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, my seat, man. my seat. Don't want to stay still, man. I'm a little. I've been getting a little fat over here, man. Yeah. So shit. how did you I'm go straight. from Menace to yeah. Tim J? So before we get into everything, I just want to yeah. know how did you go from? That's a good question, man. Okay. That's a good question. So, Menace was, I mean, Please I'm going to... everybody turn your phones off. <laughs> turn your phones on the, the crowd. The crowd right, over here, man. Turn your phones off. Um, so, I was Menace uh, as a teenager. Do you know what I mean? So, as Were a teenager... Were you really a Menace? Though? Was you a Menace? I promise you, bro. You oh, my gosh. I promise you. <laughs> At least in school and all that kind of stuff. Do you know what I mean? Mischievous uh, more than anything. Um, so, you know, as a teenager, when you're into music and all that stuff, you give yourself a tag, you give yourself a name. Right. And that was like one of the closest things uh, that I resonated with. Um, but then, obviously, I've grown up now. And the music I do is a lot is a lot different to what I was doing as a teenager, okay. as Menace. Okay. So, do you know what I mean? That just didn't sit with the person I am now. Okay. So, I had to put some thought into it. And I was Tim J, man. Like, that's, that's my name, that's uh, at name. least my government name. Right. So, it's like... That's your I, fault? That's your government? No. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Let me no, share. share. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't do that. I don't care, but I'm going to throw you guys I'm off. I put mine out there, though. That's my yeah, I don't, I don't care. Kidding, but, like, nah, nah just, just leave it where it's at, nah, though, man. Cool. Leave it where it's at, though. Cool. That's what's up, yeah. though, man. So, okay, so it used to be Menace. Yeah. Okay. Um, I just wanted to address that before we got into it. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. On my, on my, on my. That's cool. It's funny that you say that, like you said that you used to go by Menace. That was just the name that was given to you when you was younger. Because you know what, you know what I used to go by, but like it was Lil Dre, right? You ain't want to see Lil Dre. Dre. Lil Dre right. was about like was we was Lil. we was yeah, <laughs> Lil Dre. You know, I've been a little guy, man. But then it was also Drizz. Or drizzle, drizz. <laughs> I fuck with uh, drizz. Actually, you can't have drizz anymore because you Drake. can't have it no more. Yeah. Soon as soon as Drake came Fucked out with that up, shit, drizzy Drake, I was like, oh, this nigga took <laughs> yeah. my name. But you were out before. But drizzy I was, Drake. I was oh, honestly, I was the shit. original drizz though. You heard it here first, then obviously I was the original drizz. <laughs> Ask all my peoples back in Ohio, <laughs> they in Ohio. Drizz, it was drizzle. The with OG, which is Lil Dre, you know. But all right, so that's whatever. All right, man. So uh, you just put out. Let me ask you, because yeah. you've been putting out stuff yeah. this year. Uh, well, you haven't well, have you put anything. Out? It was I guess we just started this year, yeah, right? Yeah. But uh, last year, yeah, last yeah. year was a series of singles. So before we get into that, though, yeah, the last project that you put out. What yes. was the name of the last project? The last project was called Made for More. Made for More. Yeah, and I dropped that in the fall of 2017 okay yeah man and that was just uh that was a a 10 track project okay and all i was trying to do there is just kind of showcase you know my ability there wasn't really like a concept or theme okay Um, so the made for more didn't really come from it like what what was the meaning behind okay so right cool so going into the tape 
we didn't re- you know there was no concept or anything like that I just, there was five English tracks okay. there was five US themed kind of tracks so I wanted to kind of go over both show my versatility mm-hmm. um, in writing and you know kind of getting the content for the tape and all that kind of stuff uh, that's when it came to me that made for more was going to be the name okay. and basically all that's talking about is that was my realisation okay. that all right, I'm here to to really do something. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Like to to do something with this music, made for more. So, yeah, man, made for more. I like real simple, that. Real I simple. like that. So that was the last project that you put out, though, right? Yes, sir. The last project. Yes, sir. Okay. How 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 did it go? How did everything go with that project? Was that your first project? Let me ask you that. Was it the first project <laughs> you right, ever put cool. out? So, it wasn't my first. It was my first official project because that was the first thing I put under the alias. The name Hold Tim. One time. Bro, can we turn that down just oh, a tad? Yeah. Just a tad. Just a little bit. I feel you mm. vibing though. Just a tad <laughs> bit. I just want to I want to focus atmosphere. in on what you said. I want to hear no shit that's yeah, got me yeah. bopping. I'm not even I'm start like, oh, dancing. Shit. Oh, shit. All right. All right, so, cool. the first project. That so, wasn't the first one, but. No, the, okay. So, because I've been rapping. I've been writing music, blah, 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 since mm-hmm. like the age of 14, actually. Okay. Uh, but I only started doing it seriously the fall of 2017 okay. under the new name of Tim Ajayi. Okay. And the first tape was made uh, for more. So let, that, let, let, me, let me ask you this. How, yeah. Just real quick, why you just said that, how long you been doing music? Shit. So, about 10 years. About 10 years. Yeah, writing music. Trust me. I feel you. You about that as well? Okay, okay. Ten I years? Yeah, I feel man. You. Okay. So, all right, so go ahead. So, basically, okay, okay first project. First project. Um, I even almost lost what I was saying. Yeah, so that was the first project under, like, you know, my, I reinvented myself. Not okay. that I even reinvented myself, but I grew. I grew right. up. As and an then, artist. Right, exactly. Right. As an artist, as, as a person. Man. Yeah, exactly. Like, I feel you. So, so, then I was like, all right, cool. I'm Tim Ajayi now. Uh, let's put some music out. Show them that I'm doing this. And that's what that tape served, mm-hmm. just to showcase my ability. Uh, so, technically, it's my first tape okay. as, uh, you know, who I am now. Right. But I've been making music. And I, bro, I used to, I made a CD when I was like 15. I was okay. selling that on my playground, okay. bro. Okay. Yeah, okay. man. Okay. Making, I was like white suburban kids <laughs> all in my school charging them five pounds for the CD. Now, that's a good, let me ask you this. So we all hear the accent. Everybody hears the accent. Come on. Where you where you from, bro? Tell them where you from. Come you on. From? Born and raised East London. Okay. Yeah, you know I mean Stratford okay. to be precise. Okay. E fifteen. Eastside. Yeah, East trust side. me. E fifteen. Hey, look, I'll be trying to tell y'all, man. We connected all over, man. We got people yeah. in London. We got people in Paris. We got people in Amsterdam. Amsterdam, trust You know what I'm saying? We're trying to get every... I'm trying to get over there. I'm trying to get over there and do all of that. No, so. you know you know we'll get man, to listen, that. That's bro. not even listen, a thing. We're going to talk, man. We're going <laughs> to talk because we got a few things to talk about, man. Yeah. Definitely, bro. But yeah. um, that's what's up, bro. So, so you said you was... First one was like for like 15. You was handing out music and yeah, yeah, yeah. doing that. But around that time when you was doing that, like uh, you was just doing it for like... Pff, hobby. I'll, I'll be even. I'll be honest. Because you I'll loved be, it, you do. You was doing it because you loved it. I'll it be, was a hobby, but you loved it. Though. Uh, Usually, them hobbies is what you love. You know. Let, what let I mean? me be so, honest. Then let me be honest. Let me be right, honest. Let me right. be honest. Be, right. Man, listen, be honest. it's a creative talk exactly. podcast. So exactly. right. we're here to be honest with everything, <laughs> man. We. Ain't, right. So that's why we got this bottle right here because the money <laughs> a little low. It usually be a fifth. But right now we got that pint because the money a little funny. Yo, so we <laughs> crown royal, <laughs> royal over head over that though. That's what I'm saying. Okay, man. All right. So yeah. you tone to get along real good. Oh then, yeah. Man. We keep bringing up tone word on the on the podcast. We're yeah. gonna get tone word on here real soon. Twenty ten KC. Shouts out. That's go, a go dope ahead. guy, man. Always dropping music. Yeah. Um. Right, what was the question again, though? Um. She. It really wasn't no question. Yeah. We was talking about uh. Uh, I don't know, we, bro. We got to <laughs> talking about the drink and shit. Let me ask you this. Yeah, shit. Sure. With the GBP, though. <laughs> yes. Okay, because you, you was just talking about it earlier, and I was like, all right, bro, hold yeah, it, hold, hold it, on, hold on, it. Hold you got some questions for me. All right, so for the GBP, I don't want to talk too much. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Why do you more, say less. Got to do more, say. See, I'm gonna say it how you said. Got to do more, say got less. Do more, say you less. Gotta you can't say that. Got to do. You got to do. Got to do more, do. say less. It's not gotta yeah. do. Okay. So, what was what was the reason you called it GBP? Oh, good question. And um, funny answer. 
my well, one of my producers slash engineers five six big up five six five six spins shout out shout out um he produced the beat and when he sent it to me he already named the beat gbp so when i started you know what i mean getting into it writing because sometimes sometimes that's how i go about it you know what i mean i don't think about a song title until the end uh sometimes it's the song title that makes me write the song mm-hmm. Uh, so this time it was a song title that made me write the song okay. and he just said that because you know he he knows i'm an englishman he knows i'm about my money uh gbp is obviously the acronym for uh a uh, great british um uh, pound sterling sorry okay. great british okay. pound okay. sterling See, i didn't yeah. know that yeah it's the currency gbp is currency that's, that's, i didn't i didn't know yeah that. man there you go you learned something new today know, boy man, listen, <laughs> listen. G- <laughs> <laughs> it's the currency in it so yeah man so he, he named it that just knowing what i'm about uh, sent that beat over and then when I saw that name I was like oh it's a sick name so boom I'm gonna keep it GPP man yeah. I like that shit bro I like the, I like the track yeah um you did a video for it yes sir tell us about what happened with the video because you just told me but like, let's tell the people what happened <laughs> with the video man because okay. I mean that's just the life of creators right a creator yeah. man sometimes yeah. it, shit like this happens so happens. I want y'all to listen to what happened what what happened with right. the video because you got right. a video out now for the GBP right yeah yeah but yeah but that wasn't out. the original one though it wasn't the original one we shot no okay yeah so what, what happened alright so boom this was, and this was like last year uh, I had a show in Miami Speak Fridays Big Up Speak Fridays Um, so I went down to Miami to take care of the show okay. Uh, but then obviously to, to also shoot uh, the video I rent a car from Orlando. Okay. It's some nice, like, all-white Jaguar. Okay. And I go down with my camera guy. And we get there. I do the show. It's good. He's getting footage, blah, blah, blah. I meet some good people. And you got the car. And we got the car. You know what I mean? You feel and good. So you flexing, ain't that up flexing earlier. a little bit. <laughs> you didn't say nothing about the car earlier. So uh, like, that would have had me a little tight. That would have yeah. had me a little tight right there. Like, ah, oh, bro, you, 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 you fucked up the whole... Nah. <laughs> what? Like we said, bro, everything happens for a it reason. Happens. So... So so I'm there. I finish the show. That's about m- midnight. Um, and then we head back to the apartment, start getting ready to, to shoot the video. We go to shoot the video. Now, my camera guy had to be back for work in the a.m., Okay. like 7 a.m. or whatever it was. Obviously, we're in Miami. He's working in Orlando, so we needed about three hours or so on the road. So we shot from about midnight to 4 a.m., okay. just ongoing, ongoing, best shot scenes all this stuff and it came it was coming out sick okay drive back i can't i was so gassed on the drive back i was like oh man i just got all this footage <laughs> you, know, yeah, you know you, you had something mean? bro you oh, had you like man, i got one. Oh my gosh okay um and get back and where we've been up all night i came back and i was chilling like resting my guy had to go work it takes me about an hour later basically he tells me uh he, he can't locate the files they're all deleted <laughs> Now, around this time, you trying to lay down and go to sleep and shit, right? Bro, you, off of you, a good night. Yeah, uh, yeah you like, man, we done had a good night, good shoe, everything. You get uh, down, the wow. probably shower, ate something. Wow. You done sat down, and then you get this text. <laughs> get this sick. text says, oh, I can't find the, uh, the files deleted, man. Like, I don't know what to do. I'm what's like, going through your head? It, honestly, time, he didn't even text me. My bad. He <laughs> called me. He okay. called That's me, innit? All right, I can respect Yeah, yeah. That. No, he's, trust me, like, he, he's my guy, innit? Okay. So it's like. Even still, though, I mean, I would have yeah, respected yeah. it a little bit more, but yeah, yeah. would have been like, bruh. Right, 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 right. Bruh. But he called me in it, and then he's like, that. so I'm, I'm just, I'm a guy who I'm always trying to figure out a solution. Like, I don't like wasting too much mind. time. Let's not talk about the problem. Yeah, Let's you know what I mean? about how we can fix this. Exactly. We're wasting too much time talking about the problem. I get, I, exactly. I'm, so, I'm just what saying, isn't it? So, I'm like, all right, what can we do? Da, da, da. He, he doesn't really know, so we, next thing we have to start talking about is shooting it again, really. But the worst part was I had to obviously called my partner, my manager, do you know what I mean? And we're 50-50 and everything. Um, I had to tell him like, oh, by the way. <laughs> by the, by the uh, way. <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to have to rent that car again. <laughs> <laughs> that car we just rented? Yeah, that, I was just test driving it just yeah. to make sure it was going to be the right yeah. look, man. So. You know what? I didn't really like the color of the car. Let's, let's, let's do it again. <laughs> you know what I mean? It'd be like that, man. It'd yeah. be like that. And you know, sometimes you got to take shit like that with a grain of salt and like, you just got to move on because everything happens for a reason. Yeah. And honestly, I, I mean, I don't know what you had for the first take that you yeah, did yeah, for yeah. it, the first video, but the second one was solid. Yeah. That's what I'm you, saying. You went to the bus stop. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All Tried that to add good, a story you know to it saying? and shit. It was yeah. a nice little story to it. If you followed along with it. Yeah. yeah, yeah like, yeah. It, it was nice, bro. Did you do oh, that? Cool. You did the video here in Orlando or you did it? Where, Bit where of both. Yeah. So I did the, the, 
beginning and ending scenes, the way you see me like waking up, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean, washing my face, leaving my house, mm-hmm. heading over to, to the bus stop. That was all here. That was all here. That was here. Right. Okay. And then the end where it, it basically comes out of dream. Because the, the bulk of the video is in Miami. And the, the storyline basically was like me waking up, right? Uh, going, commuting to my, my work, my job, okay. my nine okay. to five. Yeah. Okay. And I don't wait for a bus, but yeah, I try to add that in in the video. Like, yeah, I'm even having to wait for a bus to get to work. Just to kind of show like a shit life. Right. And right. then it goes the into reality. the... Right, yeah. exactly. That's right. what I'm saying, isn't it? No, nah, that's a better word. Reality, isn't right. it? Yeah. Reality is shit. Man, um, <laughs> a, a man. Don't believe in social media shit, man. Trying reality is shit. But, um, <laughs> so, but then... The Miami scenes was meant to depict, like, you know, what I'm really trying to do. Do you know what I mean? I was there dripping, do you know what I mean? Uh, looking lit, doing the music, right, all that kind of right, stuff. Right. So, me being here, going to the bus stop, I was in reality. When I got to the bus stop, waiting for the bus, I kind of started daydreaming. Once I put the song on, you see in the video, I put GBP on. Mm-hmm. I start daydreaming of myself in Miami doing what it is what I want to do. Okay. You know what I mean? So, so then when I snapped oh. out of the daydream, I was back at the bus stop. Oh, you know what I mean? You so. know what? I never, I mean, I noticed that you was daydreaming on there, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I never really noticed that. I never yeah, took man. it like, oh, okay, so this is me daydreaming and this is what I want to do. Yeah, I was seeing my, myself, exactly. essentially. Now, let me ask you this, yeah. though. With the name of the song being GBP, you just told us that's about currency. That means yeah. currency. Yeah. All that good stuff. But yeah. the lyrics in the song is like, I don't want to talk too much. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Do you believe, do you try to live by that? Do you try to live by that? Of recent, yeah, for like sure. Like talking oh, yeah. about for things prematurely hundreds. and stuff like that? Yeah. Do you believe that, let me just get your take on it. Do you believe that sometimes talking on things too early yeah. can kind of unmanifest things or, or it can kill it from manifesting or, mm. or actually coming about? Because, I mean, sometimes me personally, my experience, I feel like sometimes it does though. But this is the mm. hard. This is the battle. Mm. Sometimes I'll be around my my my, my peoples, and I'm mm. just so excited about what's going on, mm. and what 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 mm. what I'm what I want to move saying. towards, and what's yeah, going yeah, that, that yeah. I prematurely talk on things. Yeah. So do you feel like sometimes that it's good to like <clears throat> keep those things bottled in and let yeah. them transpire, and then when you actually have a confirmation or you know that it's yeah. going to happen, that that's when you get to speaking on it? Yeah. Or do you feel like you could talk? I mean, because I know that you could talk things into existence. Hundreds. But do you but do you believe talking on them too early yeah, can, can fucking burn up. bread on them yeah. a little bit? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, That's a great question, what bro. You, what you feel about that? Just going uh, off of the song. You know, I don't yeah, want to talk too much. much. Yeah. You know what I'm um, saying? More of a doer, not a sayer. Yeah. I feel that. No, that's, that's a great question, man. Yeah. Um, so I'm with you on that. I think, yeah, you can speak into it, things into existence. And honestly, my life is a testament of that. Okay. No BS, man. How was that? How, how about you? This is every, everywhere I've been, everywhere I, I've got to from where I've come from has been from that kind of attitude. And I've always been very vocal and I've always kind of slipped into that habit of speaking on things before um, doing it. From, from what, 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 what causes that, though? What you, what you feel okay, causes that? Okay, if, if I be honest with my... There's I want ex- my people to yeah. feel just as excited as I am yeah, about yeah, what yeah. I'm, but sometimes it's like, you yeah. know, shut the fuck up. Okay, <laughs> so I'll be honest with you. So, and I'll get to saying where I'm at now. I'm kind of speaking about where, where I've been with all this kind of stuff, right, regarding mm-hmm. this question. Mm-hmm. Um, if I'm honest with myself, a lot of it is actually, yeah, there's excitement, but some of it is also like, uh, you know, letting the people know whoever you're speaking with or surrounded by that you're working. Do you know right, what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, yeah, I got this going on. Da, 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 da. But yeah. I feel like that's the reason sometimes that it'll get burned. Exactly. Because some some people would take that as, oh, this nigga bragging. Exactly. Or why, why you got to put that in my face? And, and, yeah, and exactly. it shouldn't be that, especially right. if it's some people that you, like, if it's your team, like people that you fucking with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it shouldn't be that. Don't don't forget but about the, don't forget. human nature, though. Yeah, don't forget about the people that if you share it too prematurely with that they're not they're not actually rooting for you so do you know what i mean like yeah. they're now they've now they're now giving bad energy towards right, uh right, the goal that you want right, you feel right, me right so yeah, watch that energy too, exactly man. that energy is real man some people man listen i believe in draining oh, people yeah. of their energy man some oh, people come around just to drain you of your energy oh, yeah. and that's all that that's they main purpose they you don't give a fuck about what you got going keep your on. eye out for them people yeah, over there, they're the worst ones yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'd rather you Maybe be you're straight closest. up with me and yeah, like, yeah. so I know where I'm... Where yeah, that's cool, isn't it? We don't, we don't fuck with each other if we disagree on things. 
I'm more than happy about that. That's exactly. fine, isn't it? Exactly. Man, be, be. I know you're different, but like, yeah, like people were trying to be fake and yeah. like, yeah, I don't mess with that. But yeah. I don't have to deal with that too much. Okay. But back, back that's to a good thing, though. yeah, go no, ahead, exactly. Ahead, so back to <coughs> the original question and all that. Um, so I used to do that a lot. I used to say, yeah, yeah, I'm doing this, doing that, doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah excited, but also just trying to like, you know, let people know I'm doing something. You feel right, me? Right, right. Uh, but you know, as I di- as I have grown up and kind of come into my new artistry and everything else, blah blah blah, I've I've kind of changed now to the point where it's like I'm more about. Do the work, do you know what I mean? Let the work Let talk. The work talk that's boys, it. So. That's it. So that's why in GBP yeah. I say, um, I don't want to. I don't want to talk too much. Got to do more. Say less. Say less. That's it. Yeah, you know what I hear from. I mean, the product that's will do the talking, bro. That's, so. that's, that's what it should it. be, though, man. That's that. Honestly, that's what it should be. You know, yeah. if you gotta, if you gotta get out here and do this and that and like try to put it in people, like the work should speak for itself. That's but it. at the same time, it's a good thing to get out here and do that. It's just it's a it's a thin line. Balance, yeah, balance, Cause right? Because you gotta you gotta Everything. have you gotta have that confidence in yourself and like let people know. Because that was one of my problems yeah. starting off. I ain't really let too many people know that I did music and stuff like yeah, that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I was yeah, more I like, relax. And the people be like, bro, why you don't find say, out. this nigga that you do music? Like, yeah. man, it's all right. He'll find out or whatever the case may be. But taking that path sometimes is the long route sometimes yeah. you got to put it in people's face and like if they if they accept it for what it is then they do if they feel in a certain type of way about it that's not my problem because <laughs> i'm not i'm not i'm not telling you for it to be like yeah no, in your I'm face type you because of, this is what i do you feel me do. Like, this, this is, is me. what i do you just call yeah. you if you call yourself my guy or we cool or whatever the case may be then yeah. you should feel the same way because you know i'm gonna support you yeah, yeah, yeah. just like i support myself but yeah, you know it is what it is. Now, for you. you put out the project. Yeah. That was last year. When did you put it out last year? No, the project was uh, full 2017. Damn, hold up. You put that out 2017, bro. Bro, bro. Yeah, I swear to God, that's what I'm saying. Like put bro, that out last year, bro. It feels like that, but because that wasn't too long after we even like just yeah. met each other. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, but. It was a it was a little bit after a little bit after a few months, few months, few months, few months. It was more five. like six, seven, eight months. Five. I don't know about five, man. That's a little short, bro. That's a little short. Bro, it's about man. five months. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Around all right. What but was the show? Because we did the show. That the was show seventeen. Was like, what was summer, the show? summertime. It was seventeen. Yeah. I don't even remember. Like I think it was like July, June, seventeen. I remember the show, but my my yeah. my, my, my my timeline be Bob's blurry, man. Time is going to what's the date? It's freaking <laughs> January the twenty third, two thousand nineteen. Nineteen. I know it's two thousand nineteen. January is almost <laughs> over, bro. I was just doing the whole New Year's thing a couple of days couple ago. Days I feel ago like, bro. Nah, it's crazy, ago, man. Bro. Time's flying. These January days. is almost over. Damn, that's crazy. The time's flying, as you, man. Listen, we ain't gonna talk about that. Please don't yeah. do that to me right now. Too, <laughs> Are you gonna keep? Oh, fly, no, no pressure, faster, though, bro. No pressure. I'm trying to stay positive this year, man. <laughs> you just gonna keep said, up. God damn, bro. I just thought about it. Like, damn, hold up. Man. <laughs> it's New Year's. The month is almost over with. Yeah, man. Shit. That's it, boy. You got to keep up. You got to keep up. You got to keep up. You shit be flying, man. We ain't reading time right or something, bro. Something's going on right now. But, um. Okay. We got the receipts. That's when. July. That's when the show what was. I say? What that's I say? We did the show. Say it no more. Cheers, cheers my nigga. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Hey. Cheers, Cheers, mate. cheers. Thank you. So, I want to. I want to. Let me ask you something. Because we're going to go back into. Yeah. Where you from and all this good stuff, yeah. too. Though. But let me ask you something, though. So you just put out the you put out the project that was a year. so seventeen now, yeah. now we know it's two thousand seventeen yeah. damn near like a year and a half ago yeah. or whatever. Um, you just put out clouds. I like that song. Yeah, bro. cloudy skies, that cloudy skies, crazy. yeah, cloudy yeah. skies, bro. Yeah, that yeah. song is solid, bro. I appreciate that, bro. White girl, <laughs> Daddy, boy. Daddy. Daddy. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Girl, See, of course you love that part, Daddy. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Cause that's your kind. Of, that's yeah. your shit. Oh, no, 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 no! Don't, don't put that on me, bro. Don't put that on me. Don't put that on me. Melodic right. and all that. Yeah, well, of course you like that part. Okay, bro, okay, okay, real. okay. All right, all right. Chill out, chill out, chill out. <laughs> all right. So like, you put the cloudy skies out. Yeah, man. How has the response been from that song? Cause that's a nice song, bro. I yeah. like, I like the song. And let me ask you this. How's the response been? Mm-hmm. And what is the concept of the song? Where did the mm-hmm. song, what inspired yeah. that song? Okay. Where where did that come from? Because yeah. I've been seeing you down in Miami writing on the 
Well, I'll be, I'll be in the beach. I'll be the balcony. Yeah, the He'll be on the balcony. The park. <laughs> I was talking about that balcony view, though. Yeah, that yeah, balcony yeah. view is yeah. vicious. So you're going to have to come through soon, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm waiting for you. Yeah, bro. Right, oh, we're going to yeah. make some jewels. Yeah, say no more. We out there writing. I want the table and all that, bro. We yeah, yeah, the table bottles stays, and all that, bro. Listen, you know, <laughs> I, want, I want all that. We knock about three, four songs out. <laughs> so what, what, what was the inspiration no behind that, though, and the concept okay. behind that song? Because I like right. that song a lot. And and the feedback in it. I'll and answer the feedback the first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Song. I'll get to her, too. I'll get to her, too. Yeah. Um. All right. So, no, the feedback's been healthy. It's been very healthy. That's what's up. Um, do you know what I mean? Got people hitting me in the DMs, texts, and whatnot. A few shares here and there. Um, yeah, I think they like it because this this is this song follows my drop at the end of last year, freaking out. Okay. All right, you know what I mean? Why are you freaking out? And that, that I was gotta, I got to talk to you about that. That too, one, yeah, we we'll get there to it. Yet, I say no Go more. Ahead. He done his homework, man. man Shit, listen, we gotta, I got to talk to you about that freaking <laughs> out, man. We no do more. our homework over here at Creative, Creative Talks. Talk, say no more. Yeah. Um, so that that was following up that song, freaking out, which was a bit more of a club vibe. And obviously, we'll get to that. Um, so I think people were a bit like. A bit shocked, not shocked, but like, oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? Because here's the thing: no one ever knows the direction I'm going with, with in my music, uh, and I'm still trying to figure that out, obviously. Okay. Okay. Um, but I think what that allows for is a lot of my releases are always different styles, man. So it's like I can have someone who follows me, watches me, and all that stuff hasn't been responsive to kind of any of my drops, but then I'm a drop something like Cloudy Skies, and that one speaks to them. Do you know what I mean? Right, They're like, oh, right. whoa, I really like this one. Right. Da, 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 da. That's what I like about you too, though, bro. We're going to get into that too, but okay, I like that cool. diversity that you yeah, get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. So, um, so it, no, it's been it's been good feedback. Uh, You know, people have been shouting out the feature, which we'll speak on, mm -hmm. and just, uh, just a good vibe of the song, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's smooth, it's a nice vibe, so nice that's what vibe, people have man. said. It's one of them songs where Y'all do this, man. When that sun set, I don't know where city y'all in or where you at, but when that sun set, when around, I don't, right now it's around 6 o'clock here in Orlando, Orlando, Florida. Yep. But like uh, when that sun is going down and you got them pink skies. Yeah. And, that's man, it. turn that song on, man. Turn that shit up, Turn man. that Some on, man. And boy. I promise you, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna run it back. Hundreds. You're going to run that motherfucker back. Please now, who is back. the song? Who is the female the that's feature. on that song? Yeah, so her name is uh, Kiara Laurel. Okay. She um, here. She she based in the U.S. Or no, she's, she's based in the U.K. Okay. London. Okay. I, I, she's actually. I think she's from Paris. Uh, she's in between Paris and and the U.K. Okay. And uh, I was actually introduced to her via my my cousin, uh, who's also my producer, Sensei. I know you heard a few okay. of his beats yeah, and yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. lot got to work. In yeah. fact, I got. I, we were just chatting about you the other day, so I got to tell okay. you there was something. Okay. But I hope um, it was all good. Yeah, 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 no, no, trust me, it's all nah, good. No, no, fuck me. But um, so yeah, through my cousin Sensei, um, he, I guess he's worked with her and a few, few other songs and whatnot. Okay. And I needed a feature uh, for Cloudy Skies because I originally done it and I put down, you know what I mean, my my take on it. Uh, but then we were listening back. And I was like, "All right, we definitely need like a female." So the song when you had first did it, you were singing the hook. I was, but I never, I never committed to like it was gonna be me. I was like, "Let me you put it down for like a reference." Yeah, track, exactly. Right, and then, right. oh, if I hear it and I mess with it, then right. oh, I'll just keep myself. Right. If not, then let's outsource right, that. Right, right, um, so yeah, man. So I told my cousin, and then yeah, he got me her. They got in the studio. And psh, yeah, they just man, she did, did what they did. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. Them harmonies oh, and is that shit. Her? Yeah, of course. It's not me, is it? <laughs> I know part of the beat. The beat. Yeah, nah, nah. <laughs> that nah, she, shit is nah, hard. She goes man. in, man. That shit go hard. She, yeah, she killed harmonized. that track, bro. And what's harmonized. her name again? Kiera Laurel. You should Kiera check Lorel. her out. Kiera Laurel. I know she's got an EP dropping January the 31st. Kiera Laurel. Yeah, man. UK shit, man. Yeah, Paris bro. Shit. So we, we're just bridging the gap, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? I like Chant this gap, yeah. though, man. I like this bridge, man. Yeah. I'm trying to get on this bridge, man. You're on the bridge, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're you know on the man? bridge already, man. All right, so since we're talking about singles and all that good, type, uh, good stuff right now, mm. you just did the Tony Hawk, too. Mm. That was a good track for you, man. Honestly, because yeah. you did it over at Creative uh, Studios. Creative yeah. Studios. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I remember you doing yeah, it because yeah, yeah. you did two takes for it. Yeah, yeah. You did two just two. I'm giving just away, two. I'm giving away. <laughs> Don't fucking tell I'm him, bro. <laughs> I'm telling one take. <laughs> I'm giving away behind the scene. No, nah, that, that's good though because he yeah, had two different two, nah, verses yeah. for it. And he was like, "Bro, I'm gonna send both of them to yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whichever one they like, you know, that we gonna run with that. And I, I feel like they ran with the better one." I think uh, so, both too. Both of them were solid, though. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But um, 
how has the response been with that? And 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 who who whose track is that? Who's yeah, track? is that your track? Or? That's not mine. So I was a feature on that song. Um, that's Paper Water. Okay. Uh, Paper Water. My guys out in Miami, definitely a, a duo to look out for. Okay. Um, so it's a duo. Yeah, there's two of them. They yeah. producing or they like artists or they oh, honestly they do a bit of everything because they produce. Okay. They're also DJs. Okay. And uh, one of them, you know, is. I guess you can call him an artist because you know he puts vocals on a lot of uh, the songs that they, so they is make. So he, he's the one that's on the hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I mean? like teeth, I wash your teeth before yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that shit was hard. So, all right, so let me tell you how. I've been listening, bro. Yeah, I'm not fooling. Good, good, good. I'll tell you how that how that actually came about. So yeah. we we've been you know chatting with these guys um, in Miami, Paper Water. Uh, so we always knew we were gonna work with each other. Uh, but just one day I was on Instagram. They put up a story of some songs they're working on because they're releasing an EP soon themselves. Okay. And uh, I heard it and I was like, oh shit, like, it's, it's just slap. Like the beat, because you heard the beat, innit? Nah, the beat. I heard right, it. I was right. like, damn. Honestly, it would have been one of them beats for me. I'd have been listening to it like, you know what, bro? This shit hard, but like, I ain't got nothing for it. I know. Dude, yeah, <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what to do, bro. Like, that's like, what I'm saying. It's a, it, it was just like, you know, I'd be knowing where, where I stand at yeah. and like, and and not to say that I'm like boxed in or anything like that, because no, I like doing different stuff. Right. But like that would have just been one of them ones where I was like, you know what, bro? <laughs> uh, yeah. I can't find. I ain't gonna do no justice. Yeah, to this yeah, shit, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You, you did your thing on. No, there, I appreciate bro. that. Honestly, but it's funny because thing. my mindset was like that to begin with, because mm-hmm. it's a very, for lack of better words, empty instrumental. Because it's, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it, there's a lot of space on it. So I heard it and I, I was like, yo, shit, like damn, that's that's just sick. And then they were like. Oh but shit! You're a lyricist though, so yeah, it was easy. No you, yeah. you 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 want that old school? <laughs> you, I like. It. I, I bro, listen, all right, so like the thing is though, and I ain't trying to cut you off. No, man, did you do you think that, man? But like, um, the thing that I like about Tim and Jay, and that I like about you, bro, mm. is like you give them that melodic feel, mm. and you give them Try that to. harmony, all that. You got a diverse sound, which is lovely, man. Because mm-hmm. you can do the one shits like the the Kelly Price and, mm-hmm. and some of the other ones that you mm-hmm. got, the mm-hmm. GBP, mm-hmm. and then you'll come with the- Cloudy Skies. The Cloudy I Skies. Mean, the What's the one song, brother? In My Hands, is that the name of it? Oh, shit, yeah, that's shit a like throwback, that. that one, yeah. Listen, listen shit hands, like yeah, that, yeah, all yeah. this type of shit. And, it's nice though, bro, because yeah. you'll you'll give them a little bit of the old school hip hop, but then you mixing it in with like new school. New school, yeah. So man. okay, yeah, no, nah, I appreciate I just that. To, I just want to no, I appreciate that, that real bro. Quick. I appreciate that. Appreciate mm-hmm. that. Um, so but the, the okay, so Tony back to Hulk, them. Yeah. Tony so Hulk. they were like, oh, like I said, oh, this is sick. And they DM me back. They're like, oh, we need a feature for it, actually. Okay. So obviously, I said, say no more. Send that over. Uh, they sent it over in it, and just like you, I was like, wow. Shit, I shouldn't have said nothing because like, I'm listening to this and I don't even know where the pocket is. Like, where the hell do I even go? You know what I mean? But like, yeah, oops, I'm, I just spoke too early. No, you did. Just right. you, you sit on, you know, you sit on the track, you sit on the beat for a little bit. You find it in the end. Uh, I did that, and like you said, I did two verses, put it down, sent it both to them. So you pick which one you want. They did, and they put that out. So then back to your original uh, question about you know what's the reception been like for that. Uh, it's been dope. It's been dope. Um, I know in the Miami scene, I mean, Paper Water, they, they're they well received. They've got a little buzz going. So, um, so you know, Miami they, they got based, though. Oh, they yeah, Miami yeah, based, yeah, though. Yeah, they yeah, from yeah. Miami or are they from somewhere else and moved uh, to Miami? They're from, they're from Miami. Okay. And at least Paper Water. Paper, Paper Water, water yeah, trust me. Oh, you, you'll be seeing them around. Don't worry. You'll be seeing them around. Okay. Oh, we're doing the whole. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All right, cool. We, we nice over here, yeah. bro. Look, look. <laughs> Watch what, 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 what happened right there. Watch what happened right there. I'm telling you, man. Listen. Bing. 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 <laughs> nah, that's <dope. laughs> so we, we nice, bro. We're going to make right, something do with it. Every no one more. of them bings, all right? Cool shit. All right. Um, so. But yeah, no. So I know for a fact it, it, it got love there. And then, you know, my people... Uh, I got a good a lot of love for it as well, do you know what I mean? Okay. So it was it's for nice for song. my original crowd in the UK at least, I think it was more suited to what they're used to, uh with being grime and whatnot. Not that the Tony Hawk song is a grime song, mm-hmm. but it's a bit more hard hitting. No, 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 it's everything. gritty. It's, yeah, it's yeah, a I mean, nice gritty, yeah, it's I mean. gritty. Yeah. Exactly. So um yeah, man, no, it was, it's all love. It's it's good. It got a lot it got a lot of love. So definitely. Definitely. Yeah. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. So since we since we we talking about the music right now and yeah. everything Ooh. and what is so it's Tim and Jay. 
Mm. Uh, Tim Ajay. Ajay. Tim but Ajay. You say, you say yeah. how, how you feel comfortable, <laughs> you know what I mean? Nigga, I feel when comfortable I say, saying Tim Ajay. God yeah, do you think in it? I don't want to stress you, bro. So. <laughs> at this point, I got to think about it before I say it. <laughs> and I hate doing that. Like, oh, I hate that. Like, hold up. Right, it's crazy. Let me pronounce this. I'm American, bro. So my tongue yeah. don't roll the way like Spanish and UK, all this type of shit. Like, I'm an American boy, man. So my tongue don't roll that He's way. He's saying man. it like it's hard. Yeah, Ajay, yeah. You gotta think bro. Tim Ajay. <laughs> I got a Tim and Jai. <laughs> it's just Tim. All right, we're going to go with Tim and Jai. That's yeah, the American man. way, man. Yeah, Tim. So, you already know. C Collective. Yes. That's the brand? Brand. That's the that's the movement. That's the business. Who who That's the who culture. Who started that? Who started that? Who, uh, who came up me, with the C Collective? Me alongside what my- What does it mean? I don't, I don't okay. mean it. Yeah, it yeah, mean? of course. I'll get into it. Me alongside my good friends- I say best friend, but uh, what does that even mean? Me alongside my good friend <laughs> slash partner <laughs> slash manager. Okay. Um, he's based in Miami. Uh, I went to high school with this guy, but you know we both came to the US together to do okay. our thing, yada yada. Um, but yeah, I started it alongside him, and basically, C Collective. What it means, the acronym C, uh, stands for Southeast Atlantic Collective, okay. and basically, what that is is where we're from in the UK. Is in the southeast of the UK. Okay. Uh, you know, we're, I was born in uh, London, uh, but you know, we we both lived in Essex for some time. So that's the southeast. Is Essex. Essex. Yeah, Essex. Man. It's a county. Okay. Like, uh, kind of like a countryside outside of London, okay. outside the city. Okay. Um, so yeah, so we we lived and come from the southeast of the UK, mm-hmm. uh, and obviously he's based in Miami, and long term that's obviously where we're gonna try and uh. Uh, bridge the gap and kind of push the business so that's also the southeast of the u.s you feel me definitely okay. right okay. and the, the water is the water that separates the two uh, uh london and miami is the atlantic so southeast atlantic collective okay you know what i mean okay yeah trust me bro okay. that's what i'm saying Bridging like, that, that gap baby that, that's what i'm saying bro like them Bridging ones is written gap. okay yeah, man. all right okay so. who, who came up with the logo and all that <sighs> oh the logo was um one of my good friends actually <laughs> one of my guys his name is big d uh one of his friends does uh uh graphics and all that good stuff do you know what i mean and we we all see logos one of the first things you do so like we were just getting started we don't we didn't have anyone in-house or anything okay. so we're like oh yeah can you like you know what i mean do this uh we just kind of ran some ideas through him and that's what he came with so like he thought of that do you know what i mean mm-hmm. and the logo itself like is a couple different things it's obviously everything's down to interpretation but for me it's like it's either uh sound waves mm-hmm. it's either a fingerprint um it's a planet it looks like a planet uh, I, I like the pla- planet i, I get you know the planet yeah, some people say like planet some people say like fingerprint that's kind of so, like the creative, creative space, space. Uh-huh. yeah it's dope too flip this bitch around and we look like something like a box. Else. that's what i'm saying it'll look bro. like it'll look like different shit yeah. you know what i'm saying whatever yeah. but it's a cs though yeah, 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 yeah. But you can you really interpret know what it, it is. for whatever. No, I like that. That's it. I like yeah. that. I so like that. that's 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 how it came out, man. It came out real clean. Okay. Um, and yeah, we're running with that. We're running with that. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, look. Are you freaking out? Are you freaking out? Are you home now? Home now. I'll be there. I'll be Pick there. up the phone now. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Baby, slow down. Uh-uh. Don't you fear? Don't you fear. Why are you freaking out? Are you freaking out? About that wine over there, man. Hey. You a wine guy? Trader Joe's. Uh, I'll be honest with you. You know, you know this low key. I don't be drinking alcohol too much, too yeah, heavy yeah, these yeah. days. That's what he uh, say. When he, he's not, he's just not a social drinker. That's all that is. <laughs> he be in this motherfucker getting towed up. Yeah, Y'all see how he got that bottles he got up in here, man. <laughs> this is not in here for no reason, uh, man. <laughs> the guests, it's for the guests. He be in here getting towed up, man. <laughs> but no, I do, I Mind do you, fuck with he wine. He has like three personalities, so them are the guests yeah. that he's talking about. Yeah, yeah <laughs> say no more. That split, that movie split, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's dope Damn. movie. All right, but so my boy like went to go see that movie split. That's a sick film, man. And you know that the guy, the white guy that's on there, yeah. the beast, the beast, yeah, yeah, the you guy. know, he's from Split. What do you mean he's from Split? You just said he went to go see Split. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, he went to go see the movie Glass. The 
The one with Samuel okay, L. Jackson Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy from, so Glass, that one's actually uh, somewhat of a sequel, a spin-off slash sequel. Have you seen the first Glass, the first one with the Glass shit, where it was like Samuel L. Jackson and Bruce Willis? No. You never seen the first I one? I seen that one. So it was one that was before this. Oh, shit. And it's all like the Glass came out again. Like, it came out now. And basically, what he was telling me is they don't come out to the end, but they're mm. trying to. I guess Samuel L. Jackson is trying to show people that superheroes are real and shit. Oh yeah, oh you shit. Know what I'm so Fuck the guy yeah. from Split ended up being in this in that shit. Movie, yeah. I'm like, oh shit, is this like they kind of merged? A continuation. <laughs> yeah, is this the yeah. reason for the split? It's so like a, a merged sequel of yeah, some sort. Was, yeah, that's that, crazy. That's yeah, creative. I it with was that. something before that though, and it showed like where yeah, Bruce I didn't Willis. Know that. I, I think that. it was Bruce Willis. He was like a superhero type of thing, but uh, it was like real light, though. He wasn't doing like Spider-Man type much. of shit. It yeah, was just yeah, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? C- so of, defying the odds in different yeah, yeah, yeah. areas of yeah. physics. No, that's, 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 that's crazy. That's crazy. So, Split is a dope movie, and I saw the trailer. It was dope. For, what's it called? Glass? Glass. Okay, yeah, so yeah. I saw the trailer for I Glass. Like I got to say it like you gloss. <laughs> <laughs> he said Glass. I was like, all right. <laughs> Glass, but, um. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck are you yelling for, bro? <laughs> glass, man. <laughs> glass, glass. <laughs> yeah. So I saw the trailer for that when I, I went to go see Venom, and I saw I saw the guy, and I was like, oh shit, this is Donnie from Split. How was the Venom? So I've never seen it. Venom is good, man. Venom is good. That Venom is good. good. I'm not even like a a Marvel comic guy or anything right, like that. Right, yeah. And I hope. Marvel, I'm more of a right? Spider-Man, X-Man type of guy. When what? it came to, the, to the, like the Marvel and the Super, hold up. Yeah, hold up. I was X-Man gonna say that. Marvel though, right? I was gonna say let's not even get into that. Yeah, you know I mean? X-Man Marvel though. Uh, X-Men and Spider-Man is Marvel though. Right? Me, you know, is X-Men Marvel? It's Marvel. Marvel. Right. Okay. okay so okay. I just wanted right, to make yeah. sure I wasn't saying no dumb shit. Uh, yeah, that's why. That's why I, <laughs> I stopped. I stopped real quick. I said Marvel. I said don't fucking say Marvel, bro. I don't even Marvel, know what the other one is. We good. <laughs> We good, we good. Whatever. All right, bro. So let let me ask you this though. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Okay. So you be paying attention to like current events and shit that's been going on right now and all this type of stuff. I try to somewhat, somewhat. I try to somewhat. I deliberately try, try to slash try not to, right? Because you got to know what's going on at the same time. People get too consumed in that. Yeah, exactly. In our bubble, man. Especially being an artist and doing your craft. Yeah. It's kind of hard to like indulge in the outside world. Right. It's like we just intake what we do. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's just, just like that though, man. And this is the reason, honestly, this is the reason that we come in to people and doing these creative talks, man. Because Trust a lot of times, me. man, we like as an artist, like you'll indulge with people and you'll listen, you'll do music with them and you'll listen to a few of their songs, but you don't really listen to their whole catalog mm-hmm. and everything. You don't really get indulged into. The, the person that you're dealing with as yeah. a fan, you more like it's more like a friendship type of thing or whatever yeah. the case may be. And for me doing these podcasts, it's been having me jumping into people's material more, yeah, and, and, and seeing on all the material that they have out yeah. and just seeing who they are as an artist and as a person. Yeah. So that's the reason that we come into people and doing these creative talks. Just say to let no people more. know. You know what I'm saying? Big up creative talks. Exactly, man. man. Appreciate it. You know what big I'm saying? Up, big up, big up. See, see collective out here. Trust me, you know? see collective. And so, like, going back to what I was saying, though, man, um, what you think about trolling? Mm. And let me, do you think do you think that trolling works? And and do you think that it's good for the culture, like the culture of hip hop? Do you think that trolling goes hand in hand with hip hop? Do you think that it's good? Yeah. What you what you think about trolling, okay. like the six nine type yeah, of yeah, thing? Yeah, 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 honestly, yeah. like Soldier Boy started. The, oh, I ain't gonna say <laughs> yeah. he started it, but like, yeah, you pioneer, see what I'm saying? A, yeah, he was one of the yeah. pioneers of that trolling shit. Yeah. So what you All what right. you think about so that whole little thing? Man? Does it work? Yes, unfortunately, it does. You feel that it works? It does okay. work, bro. Okay. I mean, six nine. He's he's got hits. I'll be honest. I don't even really mess with his music much, but like he's got it. it kept he's him got in some the light. It kept him in the light, man. So if even if you didn't right. want to indulge in his music, and right. it came to a point in time where you had to go and listen to it, right, right, just to see like it. what is this dude What's going doing? on? Is yeah, he just yeah, yeah, all? Yeah, yeah. Troll right, or right, is he, right, is he right. actually making some art right music right. too though? Whatever it is, whatever whether you went to go check out the music or whether you just went to go stalk his page more, or you just type his name in on Google, whatever it is, 
that just shows that the, the trolling worked because he's got your attention. And that's, at the end of the day, that's what an artist like that is after, your attention. Exactly. Um, so, yeah, no, it, it definitely works. And unfortunately, I mean, I think that just reflects the current state of us humans, right? That The fact that let that's how people no, manipulate our attention. Do you think yeah. that it's human nature to gravitate towards that? Or do you think that it's like hip-hop culture Okay. to gravitate towards that because i mean with him doing all of this type of stuff and with the trolls people that troll and stuff like that do you feel like it gets out to the masses like like a like a bill gates type of guy yeah. or and like they know about these type of people just from them trolling or do you think that it's just generated and it just touches uh keeps you relevant in your genre, your hip hop, or whatever yeah, area you in, do you culture. think that it that it, it multi yeah. brands oh, or whatever? Bro, promotes I mean, or we're the we're case in 2019, and the internet is one of the most powerful things Definitely today. Is, man. Do you know what I mean? Definitely, is. it might be the most powerful. Yeah, honestly, other honestly. than word of mouth. Right, right, right. Okay. But I mean, that's that. That's the word best. of mouth takes place on the internet as well, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But to answer your question, though, do you think like you know people like Bill Gates and all that see? These trolls. I wasn't necessarily saying, saying Bill that, Gates, right, but I'm right, saying right. I see what like a guy that get outside of the culture that's, that's following Bill Gates' footsteps or whatever yeah. the case may be. That white collar type of yeah, type I of shit. They, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever the case it, may be, just across hundred, the board. They definitely see it, and that is what fuels a lot of these artists to continue trolling it's because be they something. know exactly. they know that it's reaching a lot of people outside of their uh immediate their demographics exactly. what they would have usually touched their immediate on. circle exactly so exactly. they they know that now you you said something about uh whether it, it um it reflects hip hop or its its relationship is with hip hop is it good for is it good is it for good? the culture of hell hip-hop? fucking no bro no, you don't think so hell no why why man. you say no why you say no cuz at least from my understanding of hip hop hip hop is you know that's the real culture that's it's meant to be a lifestyle right and it's 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 known to be very very real. Mm-hmm. You're not doing things to sell out. You're doing it because it's you. Uh, that's 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 what you are. That's right. what you embody. Um, trolling. No it's, one can it's, sell it's me. Lying. Half of the yeah. time it's bullshit. And well, that's what trolling is. Is it's like nigga, like uh, uh, let me exaggerate the truth and yeah, just do some stupid shit. Like hey. you know what I mean. Hey. So. Um, uh, let me catch my thought real quick. Uh, with the relationship with hip hop, yeah. So I mean, I mean, hip hop's real. It's a lifestyle. You meant to embody it and all this kind of stuff. But trolling is like you're just selling out because you're doing things that you know are stupid, or that's not really what you do just to get that additional get attention. That. Do you right. know what I mean? That's not hip hop, bro. Like I, I think you only got to go to like, I mean, look at the likes of like KRS One, mm-hmm. KRS One and Two. I consider like true hip hop. Hip hop has come a long way since then. Uh, but you look at the likes of KRS One and the uh, hip hop artists like that from back in the day, you never catch them doing right. shit like that because right. they embodied what they it did. It was the music. That like was what hip-hop. we were talking about earlier. They let the music talk for itself, Hundreds. they let the work talk for itself. Hundred. More time, that's the only time you would even encounter artists like that is when it was time to hear their bars, bro. Right. That's it. Right. Bars. bars. But I know things change. I know things have changed. And I'm I'm all for the change. And I'm all for using social media and everything and being creative. Um, uh, but you know, uh, there there's a line. Just put it this way: you never catch me trolling for oh, for plays. I don't, no I don't think you'll catch me neither, though. No, I don't think so. Okay, <laughs> okay, all right. Cloudy skies keep passing me by. That's why I feel alive without you. I think it's time I open up I mean these days they already know enough Didn't think I'd ever come to know your love Didn't think I'd ever have to hold a grudge Didn't think I'd ever hold an L Top of the world Gap tooth getting love from the girls That's right. Known as a role model Moving that slick woods Why is that? Soon I'll be on the cover of L I was feeling myself uh, Alright man we go. back man We back y'all just, I, like, I hope y'all like the song I know. Shit fire Big track Tim and Jay. I don't know which one it is. 
don't know which one it is. I'm big all check. Those, all those when we pick the fill it in. But, but if it's mine, yeah, it's fine. Banger. It was definitely a banger. Come so on. So let me ask you this though. We, we was just talking about the the trolling, yeah, all that good type of stuff. You said that you think it works. Um, yeah, but it's not good Certainly. for the culture it's, though. Yeah, no, all that good type of stuff. So I'm saying that to say this. You know about Soulja Boy, right? Yeah. Okay. You know, you watch me. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, of course. Do you feel, have you been noticing, have you been staying in tune with what he's been speaking about lately? Yeah, I mean, like, I watched The Breakfast uh, Okay, Breakfast The Breakfast Club. Club. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw, did you see him on there? Um, did you see Drake? him on there? Drake! I feel like I had to Dra- Drake! <laughs> Drake! That was, that was sick. Drake! That was funny. Have you seen the emoji where it was, I mean, the, the meme? Where it Everywhere, was like, bro. It was the girl, it was, it said her. I'm staying the night. And then it was like, <laughs> Me spending the night, night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, nah, bro, they be dropping that shit on the air. That was the thing. best one, bro. So, Everything. here's spending the night. night. <laughs> that was the best one, hands down. <laughs> like, what? Hold up, spending yeah, the night. Nah, oh. They be tripping, they be tripping, they be tripping. Okay, so do you feel like Young Draco, or should I say Big Draco? Big Draco, yeah, man. Is uh, some respect on these names, yeah, you know, do you feel like? Soldier Boy, Big Draco is speaking the truth on what he's saying that he's the pioneer to this new era, and people are following his blueprint. They're not even just following his blue his blueprint, but they still in his lyrics. Because have you heard the yeah. comparison with the Drake song that he Drake. put out and, yeah, and freaking I heard Ariana, Ariana Grande, Grande just yeah. came out. I mean, he just came out and said like the new song that she just put out was yeah. like you still in my flow. And now this is the thing though. As I've been indulging in that, because he was on, um, he was on um, the one with um, academics too. What's the name of that yeah, podcast? Everyday struggle. Everyday, everyday struggle. struggle. Yeah. He was on everyday struggle, and he was on there just like I didn't. Know. I ain't watched that out, one yet, but out. I mean, it, I it know the console like, came out again. Yeah. But he was on there, and he was on the Breakfast Club too, though. Like, bro, I brought out a lot of people that I didn't even know. Yeah, like Chief Keefs and. I mean, he said he brought out the uh, um, um, Dex, and it was oh, a lot of people Dex, before yeah. that too, though. And they was actually, they was actually paying homage, though. Some people yeah, was paying yeah, homage, yeah. and the people that wasn't paying homage, he was going back and getting that old footage. Like, yeah, oh, this well, this is when they were paying homage. They're a little right. bit not humble right now, right, though. Right, so, right, right, right. I mean, did so, you feel like he's speaking he's speaking facts? I mean, we kind of answered it just there. Yeah, he's been able to pull up a lot of the receipts. He's yeah. been able to pull up a lot of the receipts on his claims. So. In that case, you know, that's fair. As far as the whole, like, um, you know, trolling social media presence thing, uh, it makes sense. Now, my memory doesn't serve me that well that far yeah, back. Do you know what I, I mean? Like, like, Soldier Boy wasn't the main guy I was no, paying no, no, attention no. to then. Uh, then. then. Then, right, right, right. Because we didn't realize what was going on. Right, right, right. But but he was at a time where, you know, the internet was just kind, kind of coming of new. age. Yeah, exactly. So it, it would make sense. And the kind of music he was doing... You know, was um, slowly deviating from w- what we knew was like hip hop, right? Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean, the dances and all that kind of I stuff. See, and that's why I think people kind of like down it down and try to dumb it down a little bit because Soldier Boy is not known for his bars or anything like that. Although, Boop. I mean, on some of his songs, he's like, you know, people be putting it out there like, man, I. I I've used Soulja Boy's lyrics in some of my yeah. love letters and, and stuff <laughs> like this. And I think Meek Mill put it out that he used it. It was something like that or whatever the He's case He's going to be trolling like, him, man. But, like, um, I think that's why we dumb it down a little bit because, like, it's not what we were used to as a pioneer of hip-hop. Mm-hmm. You know, like a Jay Z or mm-hmm. or like a Dr. Dre or mm-hmm. or it it wasn't just that 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 uh it's nothing funny or gimmick about mm-hmm. this type of shit. This mm-hmm. is what it was, mm-hmm. and he kind of came out and made it fun. Yeah, he made it fun. Different flavor too. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's why he came I out with the song with the dance. Yeah, I mean, and dance and to it. That. Yeah, man. And I don't I don't hate on any of that. I actually nah, nah, think. Nah, nah. Yeah. I don't want to say that he came out with the song, with the dance because I just watched the. Uh-oh. Video recently Uh-oh. where the guys that, because uh, you know somebody ran in his house, he shot some people up or whatever. Yeah, supposedly that, that was yeah, the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the guys that was supposedly, they said that's not the true story. He was like, they were like in a club. Okay. And they met him in the club and uh, where they was, they was already signed to him or whatever the case may be. And it was some stuff going on in the club. And then, because he put it to where like they ran in his house. Yeah. And yeah, he was there chilling. It, it, yeah. man, it, I don't know. 
it yeah. was it was some so they put it on uh, so he didn't originate the dance so so supposedly the soldier okay. boy dance or whatever. I guess. I don't know. I'm just I'm just speculating at this point. Yeah. It's not good to speculate. But I'm just talking just about facts. Because I wasn't there, so I don't facts, know. I don't facts, know. facts, I don't facts, know. facts. We're facts. just talking, man. Yeah. Current events. So yeah. I mean I feel, you know, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I mean end of the day, listen, he's trying to get his bag again. Do you know what I mean? Maybe his money was running low. I don't know what it is, but mm-hmm. maybe he just feels he's he's healthy now to to be in front of everyone again. Mm-hmm. Uh, so like, yeah, he's just being he's being present and he he's um, understanding what the game is like right now. Do you know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. but he did originate this shit though, bro. Like honestly, like, yeah. But it, I mean, we weren't we weren't buying we weren't well, buying no, it no, until no, this like what I'm saying though. What mm-hmm. I'm saying is he originated the things to where it's like um, where did this. T- the Takashi Six Nines, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're falling into the lanes of trolling and yeah. doing all this type of stuff. And he was, you got to remember, we got to remember, Soulja Boy was over in Compton. I'm sorry, y'all, I've been drinking a little bit of Hennessy. <laughs> but Soulja Boy was over, he was over in Compton or something like that. Yeah. He had the little viral video that was out in. I don't think he got knocked out, but like somebody came up and pushed him or something like that. He was okay. squaring up with somebody. It was it was oh, some other, okay. he, he was beefing with a lot of motherfuckers that was in the industry. Remember, he was supposed to have yeah. the shit with Chris Brown where they were supposed to box boxing match. And I, I, knew, I knew none of that shit was ever going to happen. Crazy shit, you know. Man. None of that shit ever happens. They're supposed to have these celebrity like, boxing matches, and nah, it never happens. It's all stupid. It's all shit, stupid. Like, it, it, it's all stupid. It do what it do though. Yeah. No. Exactly. No. <laughs> so that back. So so back to it. Yeah, man. That shit works. Uh, and Soldier Boy is back, getting his back, trying to get his back, and yeah. no doubt, no doubt, he's getting booked for shows right yeah. now. He's, do you know what I mean? So like, power to him, yeah. power to him, and it's bringing relevance back to his name. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. I'll be fair to him. Uh, he's an OG in that that uh corner of mm-hmm. rap, mm-hmm. hip hop. Mm-hmm. He's mm-hmm. definitely an OG. Mm-hmm. Uh, in in that sense. So yeah, I mean, you even had Jay Electronica shouting him out like. There you go, so man. Juicy J uh, came out on, I think it was on yeah. Twitter or something like that. Don't quote me, but like, yeah. he was like, "Man, Soldier Boy is he's a goat, man. He's the goat, man." There you like, go, like, man. You know, so people know, and a few other people who I respect have uh, put respect on Soldier Boy's name. So, mm-hmm. end of the day, it is what it is. You can't take it. You can't take away what a man has done, though, man. You can't, yeah, I mean, you can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Down, a lot of like people, a lot of people earlier, trying to do man, that. You let, you let the work speak for itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, can't yeah. take that away. You can never take that type of. No, nah, he can yeah. he can stand on his his own two and say you know I've made hits, uh you know he can refer to the Ariana Grande track exactly. and say oh that's a lot my, of other the tracks. Drake one yo that's my say, I that's not, yeah, it, cool I mean, yeah it, good for you good for you though, good for you good for you that's what's up though so let me ask you this though bro so I be seeing you on IG all this type of stuff and you be on there yeah. cooking you, know, you yeah, cook yeah. you cook hold on you cook you cook bro you cook i cook <laughs> <laughs> since you burning the plantain <laughs> you know you was trying to I curve it say, or something else but yeah, yeah, yeah. you know but i seen you burning the plantains <laughs> did you ever do them over again of course man that you was a one-off for- that day was a one-off and i got distracted <laughs> that's where it was that's where it was man I, I, me and plantain i cooked that on point right, that's so easy. let me ask you this real quick because we're gonna go into this cooking yeah room. originally Originally, OG. Oh, no, you say you're from the UK. Okay. Where your yes. family background at? Nigeria, man. Nigeria. I'm Nigerian. I'm African. End of okay. the day, I'm African. My blood okay. is African, do you know okay. what I mean? I, and I kind of got that. I kind of yeah. got that. I yeah, 100%. That. You, my, fucking, my face, my teeth, <laughs> everything about me, do you know what I mean? I kind of got that. No, Complexion. No, 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 this is the thing, though. African, boy. Plantains originate from Africa, right? I mean, the fact you're even saying plantains is pissing me off already. All right. How, <laughs> how I supposed to say Because it got mad about the name. Now you're getting mad. Bro, I'm American, bro. I'm American, bro. Nah, like, come nah, on. To be fair, it's not that you're not you're not saying it wrong. Well, but this, this is currently like this is a, an ongoing debate. Okay. Not even a debate, but like Africans say plantain, plantain. Uh, Caribbeans uh, say uh, plantain. Okay. Yeah, plantain. they say so plantain. plantains or plantains. Plant. <laughs> Hold up. See plantain. See when, see when I get to thinking yeah. about it, I fuck yeah, it up. Nah, nah, for you. So I just you say it was comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing, man. It's plantains yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, say no more. Exactly. All right. So yeah, but plantain for me. Uh, but what was the right. question about them? So uh, did I make a good match? Uh, plantains. They, 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 like that's heavy in Africa though, right? Because a lot oh, of I know sure, in the Spanish sure. culture, like they pretty much adopted plantains. And it's yeah, I like, love that shit. Anytime they, they you got rice. Yeah. And beans on the uh, and all of that good stuff because yeah. I go to the little the little the little store. I love that's them up joints. There. Yeah. Uh, what's the name of the one rum restaurant that's up there off of uh, La La who? La La Latinetta. La it's up there off of Sounds Dean good. and East Colonial. Y'all know where I'm talking about that old gas station. Shout out. They fire. 
Yeah. And uh, I mean, they be doing that. anytime that I go to any Spanish store, I'm getting plantains. See, sure. see how I just said it see, that way good, on that bro. side? That's what I'm saying. I'm getting plantains. Yeah. And then Easy. I'm getting the rice, and, and I know how to the mix it up. But even that. when I go to like um, um, Krusty, Golden Crust. I'm sorry, y'all. That sounds, like, that sounds like a, like a Jamaican, American chain. That's Jamaican. That's, it okay. is an, it, it's an American chain. American food, though. Yeah, okay, okay. But even when I go to the Golden Crust, they though, I get plantains. Yeah, they got plantains. 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, I got to remember the two, bro. I got to remember the two. But yeah, man. So it originated. They originally, because I've heard somebody say, like, like they originated in Africa. They 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 from Africa. Shit. Like everything else. Yeah. Like everything it's else. Yeah, you know I mean. But okay, uh, so yeah, I don't know. I cook. know where they come from, but I like my plantains. But yeah, I cook. But here's the thing. I'm not like a good cook. Honestly, I'm not a good cook. Ah uh, man, you be yeah. on IG flexing, bro. You be over there looking like yeah, little Bobby Flay. It looks there, like bro. that. You <laughs> know what I mean? But it's real simple. Every meal that I make yeah, is I real cook, simple. Though. I cook too, though. You so cook, like, yeah, yeah no, that's what I'm saying. You know, yeah, your I, prep game is real nice, though. <laughs> I'll just, just, say just no put more. it like that. Then your prep game is real nice. Then since you don't know how to cook, cook your prep game, I make it look bro, good. Yeah, bro. man. Presentations, everything. <laughs> But um yeah no I'll be f- more time I'll be cooking for the the nutrition you know what I mean like that's what I was about yeah, to get into so, so you you on the you 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 be on the on the healthy eating side try right? cuz I see you 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 yeah. over there like look I ain't trying to be 50 yeah, I can't give it to saying. my wife proper when, like I want to be 60 I, smashing my I wife can't give it to my wife proper, Ooh, nah. <laughs> proper. you know so so yeah, I got I mean, to keep I got to keep the the fruits and the nuts in the water 100 the water <laughs> real nice and real right how do, how, how do bro you live with him bro yeah how do I have my accent is it all right it's shit is, is this, I'm getting there a uh, little bit my don't wa- tell him. My <laughs> water, my water, and my plantains. Don't tell him that, man. Don't you know, tell him that. I had to have it real proper. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Nah, nah. So yeah, yeah. man, we just we just have fun. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, um, yeah, I definitely I try to eat. I try to eat healthy, hundred percent, man. Bro. I've been I've been put onto a few things in the last year or so, um. So I think that's important, but it's you definitely never, important. never get it twisted. Never get it twisted. He'll tell you, man. Saturday morning, I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna wait till about ten thirty until Chick Fil A breakfast is okay. finished. Okay. Because I'm gonna pull up to Chick Fil A, get myself a deluxe chicken sandwich, and then waffle fries. Okay. Because I fuck with them waffle fries. See, heavy. L- lately that you Chick Fil A I mean? been fucking my stomach up. I can't uh, even mess with it right now. I don't know. It's something they, I don't know. Yeah. Something lately. I, I like know. when I be at work or whatever. I can't eat. <laughs> I can't eat Chick Fil A because I know what's gonna end up. I know uh, what's gonna happen. Like, oh, the kids off. <laughs> I'm gonna be gone for like thirty minutes. Let me, let me do my thug thizzle and I'll be back. You know, oh, so bad. Yeah, man. No, I, I like to eat healthy, but you know what I mean, it's balanced. So I, I eat something I shit if I want to. I got you. I got you. I like the cooking, though, man. Yeah. I actually need to change my cause, like, man. I just was talking to uh, Rod Judah, Roger. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, that's my roommate. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's my guy. That's my yeah, brother. Yeah, my family. Rich. That's creative space family yes, and, and, and and all that good type of stuff. You know, shouts out. Um, but. I was just telling him, like, all last year, 2018, mm. bruh, I damn near ate out it was, oh, every day. Oh, fam. It was bad, bruh. It was bad, <laughs> man. It was bad, bruh. You, so, you're making money then. You're you going to be making good money if you're doing that, bro, because fuck me, man. Listen, I, I ate fam. out, like, every day. Wow. Whether it was, like, going out to, like, our house or, or somewhere, like, a sit-down or or I was going to like fast food, just yeah, something a little quick, getting yeah, off work yeah. and grabbing something real quick. Or yeah. it was a task. Yeah. I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, bro. I gotta start cooking. Yeah, man. Again, uh, health wise and money wise. Health wise yeah, and money bro, wise. But it, the health one is more yeah. to me. I feel you. I try to stay away from the McDonald's and all that type of stuff. But sometimes it'd be just so convenient. I feel so you. It's like you know what, <laughs> goddamn it, you know what, you know. I feel you, bow man. Down. <coughs> but the fries yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah, man. Nah, man. Listen, it, it came to a point in time where I didn't, I didn't want to see no more fucking fries. <laughs> if I seen another meal coming out of bag and with fries with it, I was yeah. going to fucking kill myself, bro. I was How about the fries at the bottom of the bag, though? You would eat nah, them? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I do eat them bitches though. Them be the most greasy ones, oh, and you know, Lutz. them bitches be good though. Like, let me get that one at the bottom <laughs> of, the, of the bag. It fell out the box. I don't even want the box. Just give me the bottom. No, back. This, the best way to do it though is how I do it because I always know there's going to be fries at the bottom of the bag. So I'm going to eat my meal normal knowing that I got a little treat. Got a little bit of yeah, space left. I mean? Let me go ahead and oh, dogs. Let me Boom. do the thug. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, no, I feel no, you, bro. I feel you, bro. Yeah, try, try, definitely try to cook, cook at home a lot because okay. you have to, man. You have to. Okay. So we were talking about this earlier. You was about to get into it. 
Freaking Out. Yes. The track. Why are you freaking out? The video. Yeah. The video. The video. Yes. Talk to me. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me about the video. Tell me about the video, bro. Cause, uh, like me personally, I got, I got questions. Okay. I got questions. Cause, the first little breezy was bad. Now. <laughs> she was bad now. Hey, but I, shout okay, out Kayla Rose. I'm not, I'm not one to judge nothing. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I feel you. I feel you. The second one was bad too. Now. Yeah, she was. The first one might have been a headache. I don't know. A headache. I don't know. I don't, that's what I'm saying. That's why yeah, I'm just going off, of, I'm going off <laughs> of the concept of the video, yeah, not yeah, the song, yeah, yeah, but yeah. the video. The video yeah. So what I'm saying is like, all right. So anybody that ain't go check the video out. Definitely anybody check that ain't it seen out, the video, um, pretty much on the video, Tim, he's chilling with his little breezy. Was okay. on the video. Well, I'm gonna get your yeah. I'm gonna get your interpretation. Here we Let go. It's you your interpretation. interpretation. Yeah, man. Let me give Let you me my interpretation. It. So on the video, that was supposed to be. She was supposed to be your girl, right? Was that your girl, or was that y'all was just kicking it, or just, just uh, so you want me to answer it, or you just a real it? quick answer? That was that was my girl. Was on, like, in the video. Yeah, yeah. In I'm the like, video, yeah. not in real life though. Unfortunately. Right. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. Um, I'm just yeah, saying, in the video, in the that video. was supposed to be your girl. That was my girl. Now, in the in the video, were y'all dealing with like rough times at that point in time, or like were y'all like y'all were good? Because it seemed like the energy that y'all was in in the beginning of the video, y'all was good. You was hiding the wine bottles exactly. and the like, left to right, and exactly. you know what I'm saying. So were y'all yeah. good in the video? Y'all were supposed to be good though at them point. Times, yeah, right? I, I want to answer that, but then I'm gonna give away my take on it. But okay, okay. okay so so this yeah. is another thing. I, I, I gotta All give right. it to you like this. You made two mistakes in that motherfucker. Oh shit! All right, tell the me. First mistake. Okay. First mistake, y'all. I hope y'all still in tune. Yeah, man. You left your phone unattended. You never do uh, that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You can do that around the guys, but not yeah, around not the, around the not around the females. Oh you lord, you phone unattended. Yeah, yeah, yep. And I paid if the she's feeling a certain type of way about you, she gonna <laughs> pick that phone up. Not man. even if she's feeling a certain type of way. She should. No disrespect. Unless she paying that fucking bill, <laughs> she shouldn't do it. Cause me as a guy, guys usually don't pick up that phone and and get to look in to see what's on the nah, front man. page. It's but, security. But it's a female. And if you're doing your thug thizzle, she's going to pick that phone up and see what's going For on. For sure. So that was the first mistake. Yep. The second mistake. Put my hands up. Y'all went to a taco shop <laughs> for a dinner date, bro. Both of y'all was going to be gassy as hell in that motherfucker, <laughs> bro. Bro, you never go to a taco shop on a dinner date, bro. Like, it's going to be a bad result. You might... Y'all might even be good for the first <laughs> yeah, couple good. hours. Yeah, yeah. You, you upstairs doing your thing or whatever. Uh, you in the room doing Lord. your thing and it might be... <laughs> Somebody might, and she like, oh shit, I just queef. Nah, that wasn't no queef. I smelled that motherfucker. That was not no queef. Or you might have, you might have let one go, and it was like, oh shit, let me go to the bathroom right quick. And <laughs> don't do the taco shop. Nah, I hear you. I hear you for the dinner date. I don't care if it's the first date. I don't care if it's a fucking 80th date. Never do a taco shop. I hear you. For a date. Say no more. Don't do man. that. Unless y'all married. No and she more. like, all right, nigga, all right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I done smelled you. I done dealt you. I done seen all that shit. I don't give a fuck. Look, I want some tacos, god damn it. So uh, tell me about the mistakes, video, bro, because that was, that, that was my interpretation. Because like I said, mm. you had a nice little breezy at home, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and then you, mm -hmm. you know, you did the thug. I ain't judging. I ain't mm -hmm, judging. Mm -hmm. yeah, she was a nice little one. So that's why I was saying she might have been a little headache. I don't know. Mm. In the video, right. what, what what were you trying to get across, get across in that video? Okay, cool. So I'll break it down. So the first girl, yeah, she was my she was my girlfriend, right? She meant to be my main squeeze, Kayla Rose. But, Shout but, out Kayla but, Rose. But, but tell us, tell us, Kayla Rose. Yeah, she she from Miami. Yeah, she's based in Miami. Shout out Kayla Rose. Doing her thing. Right here. Yes. But That's that was the video that just played too though on the first, the yeah, first yeah, yeah. intro. So y'all check that out. Make sure y'all check that video out, man. Where can they find your videos at? <laughs> everywhere. Uh nah. YouTube, innit? Yeah. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube man. Okay. That's where that's where stuff's at. So in the video, were y'all in good terms? Or it was like shaky ground. So we we were I was we trying were, to figure that right. out. So we were we were in good out. terms and so I'm gonna I'm gonna spin back round to it. So yeah, so we were in good terms, as you saw, doing our thing, chilling, watching a movie, having some wine. Uh, and then I get I get a text from what you might call my side piece. Little slim, you know little what I mean? Slim. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It but happens. Even it happens. though, even yeah. though that, that that really isn't our relationship, and I'll get with, I'll mm -hmm. get to that. She's actually just meant to be a friend, mm -hmm. a female friend. She texts me. She's like, "Hey, do you want to go get some food?" Uh, I'm like, All right, "Cool, yeah." So I I tell my girl I'm gonna go get some food, okay. but obviously I don't tell her 
yeah, you know, it's with another girl, blah, 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 blah. I'm right, just like, right, I'm going to go linger right, home, right. you go get food. So that's when you so see So she me. knew she was a friend, though. Because she didn't hit you up. Like, you showed the text. Yeah, I mean, she, she didn't have a problem. Like, like, what's up, babe? That's what I'm saying, because she you didn't, she didn't really, she like didn't, that. she didn't, um, honestly, there's two ways to it. She didn't really know who I, who I was going to go see. Uh, and then the other way is, I'll carry on explaining. Um... So you saw uh, the energy was good between us. I left. Then next thing you know, she's she's gone crazy, blah, blah, blah. It's yeah. because she finally understands what I'm doing. She knows I'm out being a fool. Right. And I've been a fool in the relationship. Right, right, right. So she's you was, just you tired. Your thug this, or you was being you a dog. Mean? Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> it so, happens sometimes, man. Nah, We're young but, and living life, man. Yeah, man. But <laughs> so she, uh, what was I saying? All right, so yeah, she clocked that I'm out doing my she, thing. Yeah. Then what the mm. dizzle? Uh, <laughs> how you say it? Me? Yeah, you thought it. So she just got yeah, fed yeah. up, right? That's all it was. Like she got fed up. She got to the point where, like, all right, you know what? I'm no longer gonna be taking it for a ride in this relationship. Mm-hmm. That's where you see her packing her bags, getting ready to go, mm-hmm. blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. She says, "Fuck this guy." Um, but the thing is, the twist is, the girl that I went to go see is only a friend. And even though that we are sexually attracted to each other, mm-hmm. uh, at least the storyline. Right, 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 right. Uh, we um, acting. We all yeah, acting. Yeah, exactly. It's all entertainment, baby. Right, right, right. So okay. even though there is that a- attraction and everything like that, and the story was meant to be like, I am, I enjoy spending time with her. I'm stimulated by her, things like that. Uh, we never actually give in to each other physically. Mm-hmm. So I don't, and I never have actually got down with her or any other chick. Okay. So, but my girl's left thinking I'm doing that. So basically, to bring it all back around, what I was trying to show in that video is uh, what I believe to be... Um, Three of the main issues with like relationships, young relationships. Okay, I think a lack of young relationships. Young relationships. That's what it is. Cause a, cause a healthy relationship, right? It's strong. I done seen some healthy oh, relationships, and it's like the female. It come from both sides, cause you know. But the female, it could like even if the guy's just doing business with another female, yeah, or whatever the case may be, and she know that she got a stand up guy, yeah. Like the female, like in a healthy relationship, I ain't gonna put it just on her because it's on him to let her know that it's healthy. But like the female, she confident in every and all of in all angles, so she ain't even questioning Questioning that. Yeah, we got that. Like we got that. I know this nigga ain't doing right, and even if he is, I find out and let him be the fool. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So go go ahead, continue. So yeah, no, and that that that's actually one of the other reasons so i was pointing at the three reasons you know why young relationships just fail mm-hmm. it's a lack of communication lack of money <laughs> there is that. i'm touching that but so that, that there is that. i guess there's four reasons isn't it? <laughs> uh there's lack of communication uh you know i wasn't open with my girl that i found a friend in this woman blah 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 okay yeah you know i mean so that causes issues uh insecurity um, despite the fact that I wasn't even entertaining a woman like that, even though the ideas were in my head, mm-hmm. my girl just fought that. Do you know what I mean? She thought I'm out slinging dick, slanging dick because she's insecure in herself. <laughs> she's like, nigga, you from the UK. You out here with the <laughs> accent. These bitches want you. I know you are. You from Nigeria. You really from Nigeria. <laughs> yeah, really, so you really out here slanging Nigeria, shit. Bro. You know what I'm saying? So That's what I'm saying, man. I, 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 I feel a certain type of way. <laughs> you out here slanging and banging. No. You ain't letting me know what's going on. What's going on? Right. So, I mean, that, that's... I honestly, I'm even forgetting the third point right now. It's shocking to me, man. It's right, old track. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that essentially that's that's what that's what I wanted to show, man. I wanted to show that um, you know we we we're insecure. Uh, we don't talk enough in relationships and stuff, and it leads to uh, bad endings when it shouldn't have to. Right. Do you know what I mean? So what you what, what you think helps with that? Like communication. Uh, commun- I think it. I think one thing helps with that, man, and I think it's knowing yourself. Yeah. I think that's, it's knowing yourself because it goes both to what parts. you just said. Yeah, both parts. Both of course, parties. both. Knowing because yourself. when you know yourself, then you're comfortable. If your man's out with a few girls, or if my girls with a few men, exactly. Uh, you know that. Exactly. All right. I know where I stand. Tripping. I know yeah. what I am. Right. These motherfuckers probably corny. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> go ahead and do it. If that's what you want to do, go ahead and do, do it, that because they probably corny. That's anyway. what I'm so, saying. Isn't it? I know myself, so I'm I'm gonna do my thing. Uh, right. With or without you, regardless. So and and that's not that's kind of comes across as like standoffish, but it's mm-hmm. not like I've I've come across relationships that function really well with that mm-hmm. kind of uh, mm-hmm. dynamic. So yeah, man. Straight up, bro. That's know yourself. Up, know yourself. Know yourself You'll be in like a happy relationship. Communication is a, is a is a is a big key too, though, man. Because a lot For of sure. people they don't know how to communicate. You'll be living with a person or staying with a person all the time, and y'all really don't communicate how you actually feeling and shit yeah. like that. And, you know, it just gets put in the lines and 
Or is, yeah. Uh, just just shit. I mean, there's only one outcome from that, and it's beef, arguments. Yeah, because what they say, what they say about assuming, like I don't know, you told me. When you assume, excuse me, y'all. When you assume, <laughs> <laughs> when you assume, you're making a fool out of me and out of you. Don't assume. Yeah, you know what true. I mean? Let's that's get true. clarification on everything yeah, before yeah, yeah. we get to judging and that's speaking true. on facts. Since don't assume. That's true. That's you're gonna true. make a fool out of you, and you're gonna make a fool out of I me. Mean, so like, I don't want that. let's communicate. Yeah, the communication is key, man. So where, where did you shoot the video at? I was in Miami again. Uh, Miami. Yeah. So uh, let me ask you this. Let me ask you. Yeah. This. So you 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 be in a, you be in Miami a lot. You got like you got people's, people's yeah. Down there. That's yeah. like your that's like your third home, honestly. I haunted, though. yeah, man. Uh, or maybe your second home because I know you try, <laughs> <laughs> you try to keep Orlando out of the pictures. It's not even bit. it's not even I try to do that. <laughs> I, I hear. Uh, trust me, I've had a few conversations about that. Um, it's not that I'm even trying to keep it out of picture. It's just that I know that Miami is the the final destination for okay. what we're trying to do right now. Okay. Why you why so, you say that? What you what you feel like? You feel like the Miami just gives off that 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 feel or that look yeah. It's a very or? it's a vibrant it's a vibrant scene. It's a bit more international. Shout out Miami. Yeah, Shout man, out Miami. and everybody Miami, doing yeah. their thing there. Uh, it's got a bit more of an international uh, environment, so I think someone of my sound would be uh, better suited there. Okay, I feel you. Um, with that, yeah, yeah, man, and honestly, just from a, like the way we've been watching that scene, obviously ever since we came over here. And it's like we think there there's a little something in there, do you know okay. what I mean? There's some organic raw talent. And they're working in a certain way where they're they're collaborating as a scene. I'm talking like videographers, photographers, singers, producers, mm-hmm. artists, everyone. It's all very well interconnected. Right, yeah. So down in Miami. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I I've gotten different things from people that was down in Miami, like for things from people down in Miami to where and you got one job, Chris. Come on, let's keep that. Let's keep that shit record. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> keep this, you got one job, yeah. goddamn. <laughs> so, um, but I've gotten I've gotten different things from people down in Miami, and like a lot of times, a lot of things that I hear from people that are actually from Miami and that are dealing with the music scene yep. and the culture down there, they're like, bro, this shit is crabs in the bucket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yep. like, like, like everybody is for themselves, and like if you doing something, they, like they don't support you. Yeah, like it, 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 it. That's just what I've gotten from people that are from like. And I've heard there. that from people and like, there I gotta, as well. I gotta, I gotta get the fuck out of here because yeah. like, in order for me to pop, it ain't gonna be from down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But me as a from looking from the outside looking in, yeah. I get the total different different type of vibe right. about that. You that's know what I'm saying. saying? So, so like, what, what has been your experience about right. Miami? Right. So I'm an outsider coming in, right? And me coming in is is only to like I said, we're, we're bridging the gap here, so. Any opportunity that comes to me is going to be available and open to whoever at least I get along with or choose to work with. But, okay, so, yeah, I'm coming. I'm an outsider coming in, so my perspective is going to be different. Um, I'm sure it's like that from them. Uh, but for me, like, put it this way, I've I've managed to connect with a lot of uh, who I consider the the movers, the pioneers of the, the underground scene, okay. do you know what I mean, the independent okay. scene. Okay. Um, and that's Hence just been the paper waters and all that paper water mm-hmm. freaking there's an artist called Dina Dean uh, she's dope I, I managed to get a track with her early uh, about a year and a half ago now there's a lot of us artists there's a there's a guy called Tunde who I fuck okay. with heavy okay. so I could go on but anyway um, me outside of coming in I was able to kind of when I say connect at least begin to know of these artists you know i've met a few of them i've connected with a few of them in person some of it is just social media right, right, whatnot. Right, right. but bro i'm connected with uh, i want to say at least 50 now in that scene just from uh using like social media to begin with so all i'm trying to say there is for me coming in and talking to one or two three people that's now uh grown to knowing a bit of a network, uh, having a network of people over there. So there's been the be music. Some kind of it's been the music that's been bringing you together, right? Oh, 100 percent. That goes all things back. creative. All things creative. Yeah. That goes. That goes. Not to cut you off, but that goes yeah. back to the hand in hand. The same thing I was talking to Dan Buddha about, like what's been getting you out here connecting with people, and yeah. it's been the music. 100. It's beauty in this shit, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's yeah, beauty yeah. in this shit. That's the reason I know you. We met at a show. Yeah, music. Yeah, that's it, man. 100%. It's been music. You that's know what crazy. I'm saying? So, like, man, it breaks down barriers. 100, man. It gets people comfortable in their comfortability and their comfort zone, and yeah. it's a beautiful it's thing, good. I man. mean, it's, exp- it's music is meant to be an experience, right? Exactly. So what better way to 
and the hunts you experience by meeting other people and learning exactly, of their experience. Exactly, exactly. And learning so, about their cultures too, though, yeah. man. You know what I mean? So yeah, man. But that's no, definitely, to, man. To finish that point there, no, the Miami scene is dope. My understanding of it is, is, is pr- it's pretty well interconnected. And at least the people I've come across are trying to move forward uh, together mm-hmm. doing their own thing, do you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I, I appreciate what, what they got going over mm-hmm. there. And I think it just makes sense for the C collective. Mm-hmm. But I love Orlando. Right? I've been mm-hmm. it's been my home for uh, five years or so. Okay. Now, I was gonna ask I mean? you, but how long you been over here from? I've been from? in the states for so five, five, six years. Five, six years. Yeah. Okay. So that's a perfect segue, bro. Let me ask you this. Okay. What made you pick up and move to the states, bro? And you said I was gonna ask you how long you been here, but you said you've yeah. been here five years. So, yeah. what made you pick up and come to the USA? The and USA. Then, and Is Florida the only state you lived in? Yeah, lived Florida? in, but not been to. I've okay, been to yeah, but States. lived in. Like, this has lived been a, in, yeah, okay. That's solid up. though. That's solid though. So, what, what 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 made you pick up and come to yeah. to the states? Yeah, bro. So uh, it's funny because it's actually completely uh, unrelated to music. Um, I actually came over. I used to play football. Mm-hmm. What you guys know, soccer. So- yeah. Hence today in the back playing FIFA, FIFA right now. I don't know. He over there getting it. Who 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 winning? Um, um, <laughs> who winning? Nah, listen, listen, listen. Who winning? I ain't asking these guys shit. Hold up. <laughs> Who you got? Who you got? Who you got? What team you got? Okay. Okay. PSB he got the Netherlands. PSB. Who you got, bro? Okay. He got Amsterdam. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, Shout out Amsterdam. My guy over there, Rough Riders <laughs> over there, baby. And uh, and uh, who's who's winning right now? Is it zero zero? <laughs> okay. So he put him off earlier too, though. So right now Amsterdam is up, and uh, he put him off I, earlier. You lost earlier too, though, right, bro? Okay. Oh. Uh, we ain't putting you on blast. We're oh, just speaking two. facts right now. We just we gonna drop your tag right uh, now. Oh, uh, uh, see, he gave us the real. It's been three times. It's been three times. See, I only seen, I only seen the one. <laughs> Fuck it. Man. All right, bro. So like, so so what brought you to the states, bro? Yeah. What, what, what brought you over here? I know All you right. said you was playing the football. So I was playing football. What back we know home. is soccer. Well, you guys know soccer. I was playing football back home. Soccer. Soccer. Uh, I played to a decent level. Um, okay. Uh, not good enough for professional. Mm-hmm. Uh, so then my mom was like, it got to the point where you were finishing up high school. So, you know, it's the, all right, what's the next phase of life? Right, what's the next thing? Right. So, you know, my mom being African, you know, she, mm-hmm. she loves the books and everything. So Your mom originally from Nigeria? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so she's like, hey, listen, you can go to the US. You can still play football at a good level. Straight up. But still also get your degree, blah, 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 blah. Real quick, just, yes. to, just to pop in. How yeah. old are you, bro? Oh shit, we're asking those kind of questions. I'm 25. You're 25? Yes, sir. That's real talk? Yeah, man. Oh, okay. for sure. I'm 25, bro. <laughs> okay. That's young. Well, you're you young as fuck, bro. Right? Fucking young, Listen, bro. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So she said you can still play. That's what I was asking because she was like, you still play soccer. Okay. I don't really play too much now, but okay. yeah. But okay, so I, I came over. Uh, yeah, because my mom's like, all right, listen, you can go get, get your degree and you can play football. So boom, I did mm-hmm. that. Uh, I got a hell of offers from a load of schools because okay. I was good. Um, <laughs> and shit, yeah. Uh, Rollins College in Florida, mm-hmm. uh, just down little, the street, Winter yeah, Park. Shout out Winter I mean? Park. Shout out Winter Park. Um, they were one of the schools that were interested in me, and uh, yeah, I mean, shit. If you've seen the campus, if you've seen the fucking Florida weather, yeah, no, that you understand nice. why an English guy didn't even think twice about that. Uh, shit was nice. That shit nice. Rollins is nice over yeah, there. Man, then you like same. downtown Winter Park, right. That shit is uh, nice. Yeah, over so there. that's, that's you like that's, the school. That's you what like the school here. Um, yeah, school. No, school was brother. Shit, no, the school was honestly crazy, man. I really liked it. Um, the reason I just had that reaction is because I ain't even gonna get into that actually. <laughs> the school was good, man. It was a good time. It was talk, good time. talk to <laughs> us, baby. What we say earlier, man. Creative <laughs> no, talks is where we get all the of, truth. A lot, out. Of, um, a lot of uh, eye opening experiences, yeah, man. good yeah. ones, good and bad ones, obviously. But like, that school was just like that goes hand in hand with what I'm gonna ask you, okay. Right here. How was the transition for coming from the UK and adjusting to American culture? Was 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 it easy or was it hard? Because I'm figuring that you're saying like it was some good experiences and some bad experiences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how was that transition coming from the UK? Like, are, do you see a lot of similarities or like, or is it is it completely different being over here in the states than what it is over in the UK? Uh, it's different. In okay. fact, is it? It's how a lot? Ah, oh, man, it's just the people. The people are just different, bro. In a good way or a bad way? Bad way. It's a bad way, bro. It's the states, bro. It's the states. Come on, be nah. honest. Be yeah. honest, bro. No, not even. Not even. It's not even, it's not even a bad way. I got a lot of love for Americans. Yeah. Oh, shit, I'm still here. 
Um, but bottom line, but five exactly, years, right? Said saying. five years, right? Um, no, it's just it's just different, man. Yeah. But to to answer the question itself, like the transition, even though it's different, the transition was not hard at all. Okay, it was not hard. I came, I freaking, I. T- I don't know people. Obviously, people here they love the English accent. Right? Like, yeah, yeah, nah. Like, you know I mean? It's You're the a females, guy. bro. Now, look, 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 I'm gonna tell you like this: it's the females. But if yeah, I hear a, if, if I hear a female <laughs> that get to talking to me with that UK, shit, I'm like, oh yeah. my god, yeah, god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's different, isn't it? That's yeah, what it is. It's not. It's not anything special. It's just different. Yeah, but it's pro- It's proper. Proper. Yeah. It's proper. I think that's what it was. So yeah. That's, <laughs> so talking about the transition, like mm-hmm. my transition was easy because I was well received by pretty much anybody I encountered. Yeah. And I think a lot of that good reception comes from the fact that I'm a, I'm a bit of a surprise factor when you meet me. Because you see me, obviously you see a dark, yeah. get young guy, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah, you be I'm throwing like, me off, bro. You I'm be like, throwing me off, bro. Way, you know and then mean? when I found out you used to go by Menace, I'm like, oh man, this nigga oh, used shit. to be a little thug, yeah. bro, for real though. Like, <laughs> nah, he be coming off thug. as an Englishman and shit, yeah. businessman and all that, but this Don't nigga used to be a little thug, the, though, bro. Because every time you do come around, though, bro, you be in your little pocket, bro. I don't know if you be like... You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't putting that out there, but like you be in your little pocket where it's like, nigga, don't, nigga, don't fuck with me, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> when you, when we had the little, uh, the little, uh, 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 the little listening party for the blended shit. Oh yeah, it's yeah. pretty much in your bag over chilling, there, like, like nigga, I'm chilling, chilling bro. bro. I'm chilling. I'm yeah, good. Man. I'm good. You know what I'm nah, saying? That's, so that's what it is. But straight up, um, yeah, no, it, I think the good reception comes from the surprise factor. You, you, you already have your kind of. Uh, stereotype of what you might get from me upon seeing me, right? But yeah, then when, you, when you chat to me, right? Yeah, right, right. Hear me talk to me, get to that know English me, accent kind of like different. softens the blow a little bit. I get, I, unfortunately, it's like that because why, why you shouldn't the say blow. that when you I'm, think about I'm it, telling you, bro, I'm telling you what it I know is, bro. The English accent because that shit so it's like, uh, because no, if you if you got the talking and you sound like a Floridian or something like that, or or like you're from down south, like. Just Niggas will be like, oh, shit, yeah, this nigga a thug, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. But then when you hit him with that English accent, it's like, oh, okay. All right, man, this nigga oh, cool. Okay. He ain't about to yeah, rob yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you know what? I should use that to my advantage, honestly. You should, bro. I should just be <laughs> finessing people out here, bro. Like, bro, oh, hey, finessing, bro. bro. Oh, Listen, you doing today? Use that shit. Yeah. Then you pop up on him and it's like, bro, with the ski mask. Like, yeah, you know what it is, bro. Hands down, bro. Give it up, nigga. <laughs> Don't even make, don't move funny. <laughs> don't move. Don't do it funny now. Listen. Yeah, man. Nah, definitely though, bro. I'm yeah, telling you. Is, I'm bro. telling you. I'm telling you. That's, that's what, what it is. But yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll live up to that. Do you know what I mean? It makes me different. Um, so I'll, I'll live up to it. Bottom line. It's bottom me line. Being me, hey, so it's you being you. You ain't faking the front. You see, I put that post up on IG. And yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, I was like, bro, I can't understand funny, the English accent. He faking it. He faking it. He doing it for the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> He ain't you faking might even it, have to drop. You might have to drop that little clip right <laughs> here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna put it right here. You see, he faking sense? it. <laughs> oh, I said fucking sense, man. So let me ask you this uh, though, bro. So well, we talking about UK and all that. So, yeah. do you feel like the culture is different? Like the American culture is different from the UK? Uh, and like, what are some of the similarities you feel um, that you've had from your experiences? If it's any similarities, though. But do you feel like yeah. the American culture? It's different from the UK culture. Like, what, like, what do you feel? Cause, like, yeah. my whole thing is like, I want to go over there. I got my guy that's over there in Amsterdam. Shout out, he yeah, with yeah. the Rough Riders. Uh, I got a couple of people in Paris. Yeah. Uh, and you, you, you got UK, people in the UK London, now, bro. London, you UK, you, you feel me? UK? I want to yeah. get overseas and do some shows, man. Yeah. This is what I want to do. Yeah, but yeah, what yeah. What did you feel about the culture, though? Like, are there yeah. any similarities, or is yeah. it like completely different? Yeah. All right. So before, before I answer that, one thing I have to obviously no is like mm-hmm. I said I've been here five years even though I've been back and forth for the holidays and all this kind of good stuff for the most part I've been in the US and that's been ever since I've been an adult I've pretty much been in the US mm-hmm. so like obviously I've got different perspectives and things okay. and there's things I haven't been able to do back in the UK that my friends and whatnot are doing now okay. all of that to say my understanding of the difference in culture is uh, the last I know last I was involved in it with it was uh the English culture for me is a lot more kind of like. Hold on, hold on, hold on.
So the English culture, yeah, uh, different than the American culture, yeah. In what terms? What ways? What ways? Yeah, man. I mean, that's a loaded question. But, I mean, I know, but from yeah, your experience, yeah, though, my experience, uh, I would say the English culture is a lot more raw and unfiltered. Um, but I think the U.S. culture has a bit more variety uh, to it. I think the U.S. culture um, has a bit of a lack of identity. Mm-hmm. Um, How you feel that though? How you feel that? Because like honestly, the world goes off of American culture. We we mm. kind of set the culture for the world though, bro. Yeah, yeah. Honestly yeah. though, uh, hip hop being one of the biggest countries. You know what I mean? Music, like, yeah. movies, yeah. stuff like this. Yeah, it goes. Yeah, yeah. It's not just nationwide. It's worldwide yeah. with shit. So how you, how you how you explain that to me a little bit? Explain so that to and, me a little bit. When I speak of culture, I speak. I can only speak on the culture that I'm I'm part of, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so when I speak on culture, I'm talking about like the people and scene I get to be part of. Not you know uh, American hip hop as we we know it because yeah, that's culture. But I'm not part of that culture. Do you know what I mean? I don't I don't live and breathe that. Uh, every single day so that culture is has a you know its identity and influences the world um but the the u.s culture that i know and i've experienced has a lack of identity and i say that uh because i don't think there's like a i don't know the, the best word to say but there's no um there's no there's no core i i, I know a lot of people kind of just i would i would i would this is what i would say yeah i would say maybe you maybe just just for me i mean I, I i'm not saying this is this is facts or anything like that but yeah. i would say that you may be getting that feeling yeah because you're in florida now when you think okay. about florida it's not a bad point florida is a it's kind of like it's not new york but it's kind of like new york because it's a melting pot of a lot of different shit true so yeah like you get a lot of it's a lot of people from the uk down here yeah, that yeah, i know yeah 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 um it's a lot yeah, of Hispanics. a lot of yeah, puerto yeah. rican yeah 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 which is the latin community yeah 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 a lot of uh portuguese brazilian oh yeah that community it's a lot of that type of stuff and then you have the american culture but then you can't even you can't you can't look over you got a lot of Haitian. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Here yeah. in Florida, plenty of Haitian. Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Jamaican stuff yeah. like that. So it's kind of like a melt and pot. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like New York, but in a different vibe, though. Yeah. So I feel like you couldn't get the whole. New York has a sense of identity. Of identity, say? though. Right. It used to that I feel. Okay. Right. 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 That right, I, right, I see, right. Look, right. I'm from Mother Maryland. I'm different. from Baltimore. Okay. But I've never been to New York. But the thing is, though, with New York. You get a lot of different people from a lot of different places, which makes it that melting pot. Yeah. But the thing is, though, um, a lot of these people branch out and they, they touch New York and then they end up going somewhere else okay. and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, I just feel like if you hit like maybe like the West Coast or Midwest, yeah. stuff like that, you're going to get a sense of more of and, and strongly in the Midwest. Okay. You're going to get a, a sense of American culture. When I say the Midwest, yeah. I'm saying uh, like is, Illinois, Chicago, yeah, yeah, Ohio, cool. Michigan, right. cool. Tennessee. So, so I, even though is, they consider Tennessee down south, I consider that shit kind of like Midwest-ish. Look, look that Tennessee. shit up on the map. Look it up on the map. Nashville, Tennessee? Look that shit up on the map, bro. Uh, that shit is like mid. Indeed. It's like right there by like Kentucky, what, what we got? We got Ohio. Florida. Georgia. Indiana, yeah, it's then, Georgia. Then it's then like it's Tennessee. Georgia. Then it's motherfucking nah. It's Georgia. Then it's Tennessee. Cause yeah. you got South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kentucky, Ohio, South Illinois, Midwest. Michigan. Wait, so you calling that Midwest? Or I feel like that's sense? Midwest though. They don't look at it Midwest. as Mid- Tennessee. They don't look <laughs> at it as Midwest. All I'm saying is though, <laughs> this is all I'm saying though. This is yeah. all I'm saying though. I yeah, feel yeah. like the culture. And I ain't even saying that the the, 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 American the American culture. I feel like it's real strong. It's better represented outside of in, Florida. In, in, outside of Florida, I mean. yeah. Because, like I said, it's Florida is a lot of. Don't take this the wrong way, but it's a lot of immigrants, and it's a lot of different people from other places, just like yeah. New York. New York was built off of immigrants. Uh, the the U.S. was hat, built bro? off of immigrants. Where's your red hat? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> my guy, my guy, right? Like, no, 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 no. Because look, look, this is the whole thing, though. The whole thing is, though, no, no, no. I ain't Republican. I ain't Democrat. I ain't none of that shit, bro. You can never. Yeah. You can't put me in no type yeah, of. Yeah, 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 but my whole that. thing is, though, I just feel like Florida is a melting pot of different yeah. things, which makes it beautiful in yeah. that sense, though. For sure. So it's like kind of hard to get a grasp on yeah. what is American what is. culture yeah, yeah, yeah. in Florida, okay. unless you were like Northern Florida. Yeah. What the hell goes on there? I don't know. But <laughs> you see what I'm but saying? But what I said though, but you you supported my my answer because mm-hmm. so you said you you can't really get a grasp from what the the culture is, mm-hmm. but it's a beautiful thing because there's it's a melting pot of it's a, a melting many pot. cultures. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like like I originally said, I said the there's a lot of variety in the U.S. culture. Uh, we finished that I bottle. Think it has a lack yeah. of identity. Uh, you finished that bottle, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. That. I did. That. I tell him I do that shit. Don't easy. On me, I did that. No, no, no. He over there on the crown. You see where he <laughs> had with that crown? I do this shit easy, though, man. This shit is nothing, man. We usually doing fifths, oh, but we ain't talking about that, though. All right, all right. Yeah. So America, yeah, okay. Yeah, no. So like I said, uh, v- there's a lot of variety in the U.S. culture. A lot of good variety, uh, but I think there is a bit of a lack of identity. A lack, a lack. Yeah, so, so what, 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 what? So you feel like you feel like the U.K. has a stronger presence of its culture? I just, well, I think because we don't, we don't, we don't get a chance to really see that over here though honestly yeah i know we you, get you we get like what's the, the one guy from what's the one guy from oh, from the God. uk yeah. skepta skepta yeah or stormzy you kind of solid bro you yeah. bro you got Everyone that, says that, nigga, that, that your shit's solid bro yeah, yeah, yeah. you kind of give me fair. that that skepta but like we don't get a lot of like uk culture over here so like what 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 what, what, what makes it more nigga this is uk this is that brand this is yeah. the brand this is uk culture yeah, yeah, yeah. what makes that more stronger like what you feel uh, well then? i think well i think the fact that there is a bit uh less to pick from do you know what i mean where we are like, a lot like, more yeah, smaller yeah, than yeah. the us then it's easier to understand what you belong to all that kind of stuff right so i yeah, think right. it, i think it's that verse rather than like a, a personal thing between the people. Okay. Because one thing I can say that's similar between uh, the two sides is uh, there is a lot of drive. There is a lot of talent. Over in the UK? If the, in no, the UK. both sides. I'm okay. saying that like, was okay. similar. Okay. US okay. and UK. Like, okay. The people, uh, at least those I've come across um, in this space, like earlier when I was talking about the people, I was talking about like school and whatnot. Now I'm talking about like the creatives. Right. The creatives... Right in the culture both both have the same kind of drive and whatnot so that's similar at least but yeah i think we got we got le- less to pick from so we have a better understanding a clearer path to knowing all right what we belong to okay okay i feel, I feel that i respect that i respect yeah. that i want to get over there bro honestly bro, i've never been ready. out the states we're ready for and you and i i, I want to get over there bro my, my guy over there in amsterdam yeah. he been he been uh he been he been he been he- fucking with me heavy yeah, yeah. on the he social media that, yeah. and all that good stuff and like he's just been telling me like man listen it's room over here to work man and yep. honestly though I, I just feel like let me ask you this let me ask you this yes. what 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 made you come to the u.s mm-hmm. like all right so i know you said with schooling and all that mm-hmm. but like was music in the background like all right i need to go over here to do to music do what yeah. made you feel like you needed to come to the u.s yeah. To do the music and versus staying in the UK, in the, in the UK. because like okay. this is the whole thing. I want to cross over and make and bridge that gap, like you've been saying this whole yeah, yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to yeah. bridge that gap, and I want to get over there and touch people over there, because I feel like honestly, me personally, I feel like um, they respect the culture more over there, man. Yeah. It's just everybody over here does music, and it, it, you come across that shit a lot. So I just feel yeah. like. They respect it more over there to a sense where they're gonna like it's more, mm, it's more with the with with more. the U.S. used to be mm, in the yeah. '90s <laughs> or whatever yeah, yeah. the case. It was like, yeah. mm, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm, nigga, that's that. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you feel me? I feel your point. I feel your point. Um, well, music was never really in the forefront of like my plans when I came over here. It wasn't okay. until kind okay. of going through a few things. Obviously, I was always doing music, but never really taking it serious, right? Um, so that wasn't really like part of it. Now, what's keeping me here doing music versus going back? Okay. Um, okay. Is it's opportunity, and I think you know you just can't ignore. Yeah, man, you can't ignore America's presence in anything, right? Uh, 
in the industry. We just make whatever. it that way. They just make it that way. Bro. I ain't gonna say we. They they just make it that nah, way. Nah, they. Yeah, I mean, and it's not that mm-hmm. I'm 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 for it, or whatever. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I'm alert to it, and I'm I'm gonna make the most of it mm-hmm. for my own people, right? So it's like I've I found that there's an opportunity to stay out here. Same way you said, oh, if I go over there, I feel like they'll fuck with me more because mm-hmm. like da 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 da. The same way I'm like, all right, over here. I mean, I'll get fucked with on both sides. I don't mm-hmm. care, mm-hmm. but. Um, over here, I know. That, okay, I'm a bit different because of where I'm from. Blah blah blah. How I mm-hmm. talk. So I'm gonna stay here and push my shit there. But uh, the most, the the most important thing though is my audience is always gonna be home. You feel me? Okay. I'm always doing okay. it for my people. So you you you're doing it for back home. Hundred. That was what I was gonna ask you. Let me ask you this. Let's say when, because yes. we like to talk things into existence Are over here. Ready? Even though no, we man. were just talking about talking things prematurely, but sometimes you got to talk them prematurely. Sometimes. And uh, let's just say when you pop off, when when things get to where it's like, what you looking for? What you what yeah. you looking for? Yeah, you f- you feel like you're gonna stay in the U.S. or you're gonna like have two homes or you're gonna yeah. be you're gonna take it back to the U.K. Well, that that very bridge we've been talking about, I'm gonna be traveling that bridge, bro. It's gonna be that every kind, time yeah, I have yeah, to. So yeah, yeah. that's all it is. Man. But what you feel it'll be more? You feel like you'll be more U.S. Where I'll be set where I'll be set based. Right Come on, because you love it over here. Don't, don't, oh, don't lie. Sure. Don't lie Listen. now. Don't lie now. Am I lying to Come you? on, now, don't lie now. <laughs> Again, I'm still here. <laughs> like, yeah, no, hell yeah. But I'm not, I'm not like home as well. But I, I don't think I'm at a point in my life to make a decision like that or even think about that. Right, 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 right. now, all I know is opportunity. So I'm going a, I'm to a lay my head where the opportunity so, is. Okay. So you kind of you kind of uh, opportunist, but in a good sense, though. Oh, in a good way, yeah. In a yeah. good. Because it's good to the, be an opportunist. To, to people get, take that t- that phrase the wrong way sometimes. Sure. It's good to be an opportunist. People, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes. Pe- people move different. But for me, it's like the opportunity has come from something I have calculated yeah. and, and put myself in. That's what you're trying to in. do. Yeah. It yeah. makes sense to what you're doing. Right, right, right. Yeah. So in that sense, you got to be an opportunist. That's it, man. So it's like, all right, makes sense for me right now to be based in the US. That could change in in a couple years. Then I'll be in the UK. And then shit, when things are all popping anyway, I might fuck off back to Nigeria for straight a little up, bit. Straight up, straight up, bro. You better, you better <laughs> take me with you, bro. Because I gotta have you with me for me to go over there, bro. Like they were like, where shit, you, where I you need from? With me, like, bro, bro, the US, bro. They were like, get your ass out of here, boy. Yeah, nah, they, they gonna try to rub you, boy. <laughs> you feel me? They gonna think you're that's rich. A, that's a whole new thing for yeah, me, bro. Yeah, yeah. I gotta have you with me when I go over there, my way. But let me you. ask you this though. So while we talking about all of that, how's the music scene over in the UK? How, how, what, what, what is it? Is it like compared to this new, new age, yeah. hip hop in in, in 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 the U.S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it comes to like the the Kodak Blacks and the yeah. Takashi Six Nines, the yeah, Twenty One yeah. Savages, the Futures, yeah. the Drakes. How is the is the hip hop in U.S. You know, is it is it like more like nineties bass, like like oh, like no. you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. with the, like it's it's about lyricism and bars. Or yeah. is it about like feel good music or yeah. whatever the case may be? Um so there's there's always that lyricism bars, authenticity, rawness. That's always there. And um that exists heavily in um grime music. Okay. Which is like okay. one of the, the the leading genres of music in okay. the UK urban. Is that grime scene. music? Grime, yeah. G R I M E. Oh, uh, grime. Yeah, grime. Yeah, yeah. Grime. Grime. Trust me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, uh, that's like real gritty, raw, close to its source. Um, but what they're pushing on the forefront right now, what's on the forefront, what is what they're really trying to promote is a bit more kind of like um, bubblegum, bubblegum kind of Bubblegum rap. rap. Yeah, you know I mean, like. Kind of hey. like, um, no, no, no shots fired, but like, kind of like, um, I'll, I'll spec. I respect like like a little pump or like what you because like yeah. over here they'll look at that as like bubblegum bubble rap. Yeah, so no, not quite a little pump. These guys are better than little pump. Okay, but so it's more what they go for. It's a gimmick. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's the standard shit. There's almost there's a formula that they keep to, and it's like all right, rent a car. Uh, even though I know I did, did that in GDP, <laughs> yeah, but you saw it, I had my storyline. Bang know what I mean? bang. But you know, rent a car, couple of bad bees. Rent a house. By bit, bad bees, he means bad bitches, y'all. Bad bitches, okay. you know what I mean? We keep uh, everything <laughs> uncensored over here at Creative Talks. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, yeah, I go, sisters, you might take offense to that, man. <laughs> shit. But, um, hey, if she's not a bitch, then she ain't going to take nah, offense to that. Right, but, you know, right. sometimes you got to be the bitch. Because yeah. this is the whole thing. What is a bitch, though? It's a female dog. Dog, that's it. Man. What is a man's best friend? A dog. So <laughs> I'm just calling you my best friend at that point in the time. Oh, shit. I never did it like that. 
I just you called at? you my best friend. Though. Oh, I just called, shit. Don't take it that way. Don't don't get too caught up on these words. I just called you my best friend. You my oh, bitch. Nah, nah, nah. I don't, I don't, I don't uh, think I'm just playing, though. I'm just I don't think they're going to buy it. I don't think they're going to buy it. They ain't going to run with that one, right? <laughs> it sounded good, though, right? All right. No, fuck with it. What you going to say? I'm talking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking about it. Nah, I don't think they will. Okay. That shit was I even saying, though. Bad bitch. Yeah, so yeah, there's a formula. And it's all just kind of... Uh, gimmicky, do you know what I mean? Like, uh, it's not authentic for the most part, and that's what's popular right now. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So, okay. um, yeah, it's not bad though. There's there are a lot of talented artists out there, mm-hmm. um, and like I said, there is obviously part of the scene that is still raw, organic. Right. Yeah, you know I mean, right. Like talented. So yeah. Let me ask you this: You think they'll fuck with Drake Kidley over there in the UK? A hundred percent, bro. You think so? I just told you, like, like, we... like straight up though. Like, no, no. But listen, listen, listen. I'm one. I'm down for constructive criticism. 100%. She'll, she'll tell you. All my people to tell you, I don't mind people talking shit You're about in my, my house. Music. So I'm gonna say what the hell exactly. I want, bro. You, you, know, you see where we at, man? <laughs> this is one thing that we're trying to do on Creative Space, yeah. on the Creative Podcast, man. We bringing this shit to people's creative space, man. On Creative Talks, we bringing it to their creative space. Hence to why we've been doing it. Last one was in Dan Buddha shit. You know what I'm saying? The first uh, one was in, uh, we was over there at C. Witty's house, but that was Rod Judah. It was out of, it, we, we, we trying to take it out of the, we don't want to have one setting. We want to take no. it to where these people are creating their stuff at. I know, I know uh, uh, Tim, he does a lot of work yeah. down in Miami, but he does a lot of writing here though. Yes, sir. You see what I'm saying? So, and this is just where he creates a lot. So, like, that's the one thing that I want people to understand and get from this creative talks is that we're 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 bringing this shit to people's creative space. So, okay, so pulled up for me at the crib. We shit. We, we, we 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 pull up. <laughs> we pulling up. Ready. I'm we pull you, up ready. Ready, man. You know what I'm ready. saying? We got masks, gloves, <laughs> all that. We wipe the we wipe them things down with alcohol. We make sure that we good to go. And in case we got to let them things go, we good to go. Well, so we pull up. Not we bad, do man. pull up. All right. So this is the whole thing, bro. Let okay. me ask you this. Yeah. Tell me about that track okay. in uh in my hands, okay? okay. Because that that that's a good ass track, bro. I, I Hands down, that's that's a I appreciate that. Bro. How, the, that's an older track. Just that one yeah. question. That's an older track. Old as fuck. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So you see, I've been doing my homework. Yes, sir. I've been yes, doing my homework. Who's the female on the track, and what was the inspiration behind that track? I don't mean to keep asking you about the inspiration behind these tracks, but yeah, yeah, that's cool. honestly, I'm at, I'm asking you for a reason because these are the tracks that I gravitated towards. Yeah. I, Tim has a lot of stuff on 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 on, 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 on the streaming sites. Yeah. But a lot of his music is on SoundCloud. Yeah. A lot of music on SoundCloud that's not on it's the It's not streaming. on the streaming sites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So go and check that SoundCloud out. We're going to spell the name right here. Tim J. Tim Ajayi right here. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That's what I was waiting on. <laughs> Look that you, shit bro. up on the SoundCloud. Yeah. You put it in just how we put it right there, and you're going to find what he's got on SoundCloud. Because yeah. a lot of his, he has a lot of hidden jewels. I he do, has man. his project. What you got your project up yeah, on on the social on media? Hold yeah. up, social media. You have you have the Tony Hawk, and then you have yes. your your project, right? The streaming made for me. Streaming you mean? Wait, wait, wait what are we talking on about? social? social media. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, the streaming platforms like Stream- Tidal, right, okay, Apple. So, yeah, so streaming platforms, Tony Hawk, and then the tracks like GBP yeah, yeah, over yeah. here, yeah. Home Grounds, things I dropped in like the the last year. Right. Now his Four. older tracks, yeah, the ones that are, where he was menace. Yeah. <laughs> where the jewels are at <laughs> go on soundcloud go on soundcloud this is the one where you got to listen to with uh uh the sun going down and man this guy has bars Appreciate he has it. good music Appreciate he's gonna it. give you different diversity different ranges different all types of shit it's good Dude. music y'all go and check that soundcloud out because i'm telling you this is where them hidden jewels be at all right, yeah. this is where them hidden jewels be at. So, like, what I was saying, though, bro, um, tell me about that track in my hands. That's not on social yeah. media. That's not no, on the. No, that's not no. on the stream. That's not that's even on. like a beat I have uh, uh, rights to. Um, First off, tell me who's the female that's on there. Yeah, that's some that's some some chick I went to college with. Um, I don't say no names, but yeah, she, okay, she, okay. she can sing. She must have did so. something dirty. Nah, not no, even. No, no, no. Not even <laughs> but, I mean, like, she's, not, she's not actively uh, trying to, you know, she's not worth push. Okay, you know what I mean. So okay. it's like I need okay. to shout her out, but um, okay. nah, she's cool. I, I, I got you. I, 
Now, I'm going to tell you like this, bro. I like what you're doing with these different, like, with the different females. Yeah, and the Different man. melodic sounds. You're doing a lot of the singing on there, too, though, right? A lot of them songs. A is little, little bit. You know what I mean? I, I put, I put, I like, yo, if it was down to me, I'd be singing the whole thing. But once okay. I run it by the team. Gotta, sometimes you got to go out of house. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sometimes you got to get out of pocket and go out of house. Yeah, no. But, but uh, once I run it by the team, you know, they be like, oh, we need to go on this yeah, shit. So. Yeah, so tell me, tell me about In My Hands, though, bro. Tell me about that. What, yeah, what bro. was what was the meaning and what was because yeah. I like that track, bro. That's a solid no, I appreciate that, ass man. track, bro. That's one of my favorites, bro. It doesn't surprise me. It's one of your favorites. Yeah. It's, what's weird is to this day, that's probably one of my favorite uh, written songs as well, man. Because okay. like okay. my writing and that was crazy. I surprised myself. Okay, but that's real, a good thing. Yeah, no, nah, exactly. <laughs> I, I'm not to cut you off. Yeah. I went back and listened to uh, my dog life. It's a, it's a project that I put out. I'm about okay. to put out Dog Life Part Two real soon. Oh, shit. I might re-release Dog Life. Oh shit! Y'all yeah, be looking, I ain't heard look, Dog look, Life, man. Listen, you know I, I got, out your I got hard copies for you. Then oh, pull up shit. on me. I get you a hard. You copy. You ain't got that on streaming platforms. It's not on streaming yeah, platforms, okay. but you can get it through the website though. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And I was listening to that shit, and as the songs are going on, I'm just like, "Oh shit!" I said that. That's good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh like, shit! Now this shit is a couple years old. I'm like, "Oh goddamn!" I said that. Oh shit! God damn it! This motherfucker, Loki. This shit is a classic. <laughs> God damn it! This shit is a classic. Oh, that's how it should be. That's how and, it should uh, be. Um, it be like that, man. Yeah, exactly. And I, I have that feeling in my hands. Um, honestly, so in my hands. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me yeah. about that. So the the hook came from my boy, uh, Mitch. Um, he was also you know my, my partner, my manager, all that good stuff. Uh, he was chilling with me in Orlando. Actually, it was about two years ago. You recorded that down here in Orlando? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. And we were just out on the balcony and we were listening to that, some Jay Dilla. Because that is a Jay Dilla beat, I believe. Yeah, I That's a Jay Dilla beat. beat. Yeah, That's man. a Jay Dilla beat. So yeah. we're just chilling to some Jay Dilla and he's coming out the balcony, he's humming like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm like, shit, hold that. Hold that right there. Let me hear that again. He does it for me again. I'm like, all right, boom, I got a hook. I got something to work off here. You about to play that shit real quick? I was, I was <laughs> looking, I was looking. Yeah. I don't think that's the one. Hold up. That might oh, be the one. Oh, we're on the wrong track here. That Boy, might be the one that's a Jay Dilla. Track. Whoa, whoa. Hold no, up. No, this is, this, is, this is Jay Dilla. Nah, because you clarified it on one of them. That's reincarnation. Reincarnation. Yeah, also a Jay and Dilla. And we're going to get into that. Yeah. Hold up. So let me let you go ahead. Let me let you go ahead. Okay. Y'all go and check these songs out, man. I'll make sure y'all check this shit out. In my hands. Check that shit out. All right. Go ahead. Yeah, so my guy, he's humming the hook. I'm like, all right, shit. I like that sound. I wrote to that, and then I went in on the on the verses. I can't even lie, bro. We we went down to the pool, and okay. within thirty minutes, I think I had like both verses written. And there's some very intricate stuff I was saying in there, like yeah. a, a use of a lot of good words, all yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. So it was like some, you know how sometimes it just comes, man. You know what I mean, like the, it just flows. You to just you. turn that beat on, yeah. and you ain't gotta really do too much thinking. Right. It just comes to you. Right. So it came to me, and uh, what the song means in my hands. It's in my hands. It's in my soul. Uh, it's where I, I am, where I go. I don't remember it like that. But I'm just talking about what I believe to be, you mm-hmm. know, the greater power that guides me through what I'm doing. So, mm-hmm. yeah, man. And I'm, I'm kind of like uh, recognizing myself as that greater power because it's around me, but it's in my hands, so on and so forth, blah, blah, blah. So. Solid track, bro. Thank I just said it like that. Hands down, that's Thank one you. of my favorites from you, though, bro. So since we're talking about that, let me get into my favorites that I got from you, okay? Favorite tracks from... Oh, tracks. From Tim and Jay. Okay. Hold up. I didn't say I that. I going to say bars. Favorite bars. Nah, 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 nah. I, got, I got that too, though. Okay, but uh, okay, okay. I'm let's talking it, about it, from, from, from you. It's favorite tracks. So I'm going to just get into this one. Kelly Price. Oh, my God, Big nigga. Team. And you did a remix for that too, that though, right? Hold on. What was the difference a... between the original and the remix? Uh, Well, no. The original is an Amigo song. Yeah. The original was Kelly Price, Amigo's track, bro. And I was just like uh, hearing it at the time. Uh, like, this beat is too <laughs> hard. <laughs> Uh? Yeah, but the the hook on mine. Okay. Uh, I just used the the melody that the Migos done, so I did like one of them remix. I just wanted to give my take on on Kelly Price, and that was on the new, th- that was on the Made tape. for Me. Yeah, Made for More. Yeah, Made yeah, for yeah, More. Yeah, made yeah, for yeah, More yeah. Uh, project, right? Yes, sir. Right, 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 bro. I just like everything you was doing on there, bro. Y'all I see, I just it. dropped down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's my level dropping. right now. That's my level <laughs> right now. He dropped down too, Ooh. though. Hey. That's my. Le- <laughs> You know, so um, that's a that's a good track, bro. I Thank fuck you. with that Kelly Price. It's Thank got a you. nice vibe to it. It's an yeah. up tempo track. Hard. Yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, hard yeah, as yeah, fuck. Yeah, you yeah. was on there doing your thing. Thank you. I fucks with it. 
Uh, my next so one. Kelly, that's interesting. All right, Kelly Price. Yeah. That next one, reincarnation. <laughs> that's fucking track. That, that one. reincarnation is yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy. That's one of them. That's one of them. That's one of them. Sun going down. Yeah. Turn that bitch on. You feel me? Yeah. Turn it on. Vibe out to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't even know about Sun going now. It's this one due to the content. To this me, is to like, me. Don't yeah, tell no, me how I feel about oh, the track, you're right, bro. You're right, you're right. No, 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 that's how I feel about the track. That's how I feel, man. Don't tell me how I feel about the track. You only feel one way about my songs, though. <laughs> that's how I feel, you know. Yeah, yeah, you might get something different, but you know, this is how you're I feel right, about the track, right, bro. Right. That's a fact. On that note, tell me how I'm feeling about the track, bro. Say less, say less, say less. All right, say no more. See, this is why this is family, man. You know what I'm saying? Say no more. So go ahead. What you was gonna say? Shit, I mean, you I'm got something to say, say about that. the reincarnation? Nah, you said it, bro. Uh, 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 uh. My <laughs> next down. one, my next one, <laughs> cloudy skies. Yeah, man, that shit right there. Boom, thank that's you. That's a classic. Thank <sighs> you. <sighs> cloudy yeah. skies, can you pass me? You I hear me? Try to sing it. Hey, she, bro, listen, listen. You need yeah. to go over there. You need to send that girl a bouquet of flowers <laughs> right now. <laughs> God damn it. Send her a bouquet of flowers and some and some and some chocolate and, and say, so, you know what? A spot on that bridge, bro. Man, listen. And a spot on that and bridge. Tell her, listen, I appreciate you and let's do some more work. Cause I'm that good. shit was solid, bro. She killed it. She killed she it. She killed it. She killed that. She killed it. I like Clarence. Um, another one that I like is Home Grown. Home Ground. Home Ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Home Ground. Yeah, 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 home Ground. Yeah, yeah. I'm now seeing people, it a little different. Now people people get that twisted. Oh uh, yeah. Home Shower ground. man stepping out clean. She- <laughs> Who that you got on the track with you? Who is that? Uh, oh yeah, shit. That's um. Bro, I keep dropping down, man. Yeah, man. I'm on a roller coaster right now, y'all. You know, we're talking about healthy food. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I mean? You ain't see oh, me hey, drop. Listen, listen. <laughs> now you done dropped <laughs> down, sorry. Right. Times, you ain't see me drop. Like that McDonald's though, bro. I, I did mean. have some. Uh, 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 <laughs> what the fuck I eat today, man? Uh, pan, uh, Panda Express, goddamn it! Yeah, shouts out to that Panda. Good, yeah, nah, good. I fuck with Panda. I fuck with Panda with the with the lo mein and the um, mm. I had the little beefy shit and and uh, I had sweet the uh, sweet and sour chicken. Yeah, sweet sour, really? that's what I was about to say. The sweet and sour chicken. They be having that pineapple Beaver. in there with the with the peppers and shit, it's man. Too sweet, almost too. Nah, sweet. Nah, nah, nah. I, I like I kind of like sweet nah, nah, meats. Right, uh, so no, no, right. Pause, goddamn it! Yeah, all right. I like Chill, sweet. I like sweet food. Hey, my nigga CJ told me, bro, real niggas ain't gotta say pause though, bro. So I ain't gotta pause that shit. You know what I'm saying? Your yeah, mind shouldn't even be going there anyway. Yeah, true. So. That's a statement. I like that. <laughs> I like that. All right, so like that, that home that, ground. That home yeah, ground. Artist, yeah, Caniva. Uh, he's sick, man. He's a he's an MC from the UK. Um, he's doing his thing out in the UK right now. That was the person that was featured on there with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caniva. Okay. We, we should probably add his thing as well. We're plugging the whole damn fucking scene today. Putting right there, man. But, um, Bing. Yeah. <laughs> Bing. Yeah, bro. Now nah, he's sick. Um, we reached out to him because uh, at least my manager, my partner, he'd been listening to like uh, a previous EP he had dropped, and he was like, "Yo, this guy's sick." And of course, you know, we were trying to work with some English uh, artists. Where so, he, where he's where where he from? Where is he where from? Where am I from? No, 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 no. Where is he oh, from? Oh, where is he from? I know he's from South London. I believe it's South London. I don't know it exactly. Um, so it's not the same size as me. But y'all weren't beefing though, right? Nah, so it wasn't, it wasn't, no, it wasn't, it wasn't, but it wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, <laughs> nigga, I don't fuck with it. Right? It wasn't nah. like being from Houston, like, nah, nigga, I'm from the South and you from the North, nigga. Like, yeah. Nah, not even. <laughs> okay. But it be like some <laughs> yeah. people live that life. But bro, how, let wrong. me ask you though, bro. L- yeah. Listen, this is going all off topic right now. I'm sorry, Let's y'all. Do it. How was the UK though, bro? They got gangs and shit over there, of bro. That course. shit be going down like that, though, bro. I'm tired of you Americans <laughs> niggas, <cup laughs> <of tea. laughs> fucking a bit of toast. Bro, tell that. us, bro. Well, give us, mad? give us the interview, right? Give us uh, the insight right now, bro. That shit street over there, bro. Yeah, man. Hey, it's like it's like everywhere, right? There's danger, there's poverty, there's all that stuff everywhere. But listen, like. The London is in the area where you could be walking around if you take the wrong corner you literally kidnapped. take the wrong right not even kidnapped but you get stabbed on the spot like they'll put it on it's you it's not like too much gun work over there though right like the uh, guns is like real scarce more, more knife crime more knife crime you gotta be vicious to be a knife nigga that's what I'm saying you gotta be vicious to walk up personal and stab a nigga I'ma pop you I'ma drive by I'ma pop you it's, I'm going to run up on you. That knife shit is up close That's and I'm personal. It's saying. like, nigga, when you stab a nigga, you're going to feel it too. You're going to feel it. That shit going to bust like a balloon. Uh, it's like, Only, I think about that shit I'm not speaking yeah. from experience. I'm just saying, though, you're going to feel it bust like up. a balloon. So, But the, the, them savages are out there. Um, like I said, you could take the a wrong right, and if you're in the wrong area, the wrong postcode, you know what I mean? You catch a bit of trouble. If they see you walking, they're like, oh, shit, you see them kicks and that. See me on my the, phone. This is what they'll this. say to you, bro. They'll literally say, 
Oh, well, what size are you, bro? Yo size. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be like. Yo size, just, nigga, what's just up? Just start unlacing. Just start unlacing your shit. Yo shoes, size, bro. nigga, what's start up? Unlacing. And that's, that's the whole thing. That's why I don't go anywhere without people that's natives. <laughs> if you ain't from, if, if I ain't got somebody that's from that actual place, yeah. I'm not going there, bro. Because yeah, it's like, as soon as somebody try me, like, yeah. bro, it's it's time. To, it's, it's go time. You feel me? Yo okay. size. <laughs> I'm yo size. <laughs> So what's up? Yeah, no, Tell no, me what's no, going on. Kids are hungry, bro. <laughs> kids are bro, listen, bro. bro. I'm from the streets of of of, of Atlanta. I'm from the streets of Dayton, Ohio. No I was born in Baltimore. Say I've been no about. I, I live. You feel the me? Wire. Like I got family in. But you feel me? The <laughs> wire. Look, this guy from the UK <laughs> know about the wire, baby. Come on, you know what understand. I'm saying? Like Obviously. nigga, my cousins is from. The, you yeah. feel me? They they the wire. Like my cousins yeah. is living the wire type shit. And, Say no more. And so like you know, I mean, it is what it is, man. I be yeah. like, this is my whole thing, man. The the world is a ghetto, man. The whole hood is a ghetto, man. So it's like if you know how to carry yourself and you know how to move yeah. or whatever the case may be, you pretty much ain't gonna have too much problems, problems. Yeah. dealing with shit. But if you just like green out here and shit, you ain't really yeah. used to the world. Then I mean, you gotta you gotta live and you gotta learn. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Man. But yeah, it is what it is, though. Yeah, so that bad. was that was the one song. Okay. Um, you said that that was your boy. He from the UK because I heard him with the accent. Right. And it, 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 I didn't say he was my boy. You know what I mean? Cause yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I well, I mean, like we well, know goddamn, nigga, like you that. put him on the track with you. you yeah, yeah. That's kind of your boy. There's a music appreciation. Right, 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 right. I ain't saying like I've sat down and fucking smoked yeah. a J with I mean, yeah. Like that, it's kind of, it's kind, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of yeah. that musical relationship. Right, you know, right, right. I feel, I feel. He's one to look out for. Definitely, one to look out for. Definitely. Bottom line. Bottom line. So, um, yeah, so it was that home ground. Um, they get used to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That was That's a throwback, man. Oh, my God, bro. You fuck with that, yeah. Bro, that shit dope as fuck, bro. I like that. They I mean, get used to it, it's dope as fuck. Um, that M's, that shit crazy. What? That's crazy. What? I'm tell you like this. I had to put it in my I notes. I hate that song. What? Oh, my God. All right, excuse me, y'all. I hate that song, bro. bro. I haven't played. Put it this way: ever since I recorded stupid, that shit, bro. ever since stupid. I recorded that shit, I have not listened to that song. Bro, you stupid, bro. Since I'm gonna tell you like this, bro. Your Never flow will. on there is crazy as fuck. Okay. Your flow on there crazy. I mean, yeah. I hear Pusha T featured on that song, bro. Oh shit. Okay. I hear. I can hear Pusha T featured on that song, bro. Okay. Like that's one of your up tempo songs that I that, that 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 it goes hand in hand with that Kelly Price. Yeah. That, all that it. type of shit, bro. But that said that cuz both of them were in the American sector of the major You feel? Me? See? Yeah, you yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. Nigga, I, listen, yeah, okay, I ain't okay, okay, even okay. know. I ain't even know, but I know now. So right, cool. You see that I'm doing my homework, baby. Um yeah, I, I personally I don't like M's. Obviously, I can't tell you how you like my music, but I don't like M's. Bro, that shit like I said Yo, flow on there, stupid. Yeah, I appreciate Especially that. on that second verse that you did, that yeah, second yeah, part. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. shit got that stupid. Verse was definitely better. You got stupid on there. Yeah. And then I, I definitely <laughs> hear Pusha T on that shit with I you. Push it, nigga. Push a T. What's up, bro? Pitchy, good, yeah, good music. Good music. Pitch it to him and hit me up. And if that nigga hit us up, yeah, then I mean. we doing something right there. So they, they, they watching. Pitch so it. the last one that I got, and there was some other ones too, though, because you got a nice catalog, though, bro. But it was this the last one that I got. Heaven on earth. The that heaven one. on earth. I really like that one. Is so, that you singing on the hook? Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. Trust me, God. So I'm saying, like, oh, and I told my team, let me do the singing. They're like, oh, no, let's get featured. I said, I can do it. I can fucking do that's it. That's a good song, yeah, bro. That's a good track, man. That heaven on earth Appreciate is, it, yeah. that's a solid song, and bro. And I took that, that hook I actually got from from uh, J. Cole. Okay. Yeah, because I go. Uh, what's, the, what's the hook? Give, give it to us. Uh, if you, if he's you, on his way. He's about to get paid. Okay. He's, he's on his way to heaven on earth. earth. But yeah, of course, yeah. J. Cole says he's yeah. on his way about to get paid. He's on his yeah. way to Hollywood. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Like, I, I just flipped it a little bit like that. J. Cole, my thing. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, You fuck with J. Cole? You like J. Cole? Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. What you definitely. think about? Hold up. The, They've been pump faking a lot though. J. Cole and Kendrick. Oh, about a collab. But then I then I seen some shit where J. Cole and Big Crit. Supposed oh, to be doing geez. a project. I got time for that. I got I got a lot of time for that. Big Crit gets slept on and it pisses slept. me off. I'm gonna tell you like this, cause I sleep on Big Crit. I do too. I do, bro. <laughs> Big Crit, like Carissa, when she first met me, she was like, I would think you would listen to more to like J. Cole and Big Crits and I don't listen to that shit. I really oh, yeah, honestly, you know you honestly to Cole like that. 
Yeah. Honestly, I can't get into J. Cole. I, the last, the, the the project that I last got into from him was his latest one. K.O.D. K.O.D. I ain't really fuck with And him. the reason I, you ain't fuck with it? No, I did. I'm, I hold J. Cole to high esteem, so. See, this is the reason that I ain't really got into the, too much J. Cole is because um, a lot of times his projects be blending in sounding like mixtapes. And it be from the samples that they be using and shit like yeah. that. So it's like I'll listen to a mixtape and it'll be like, all right, this shit riding. And then a project could come out and it would be like, well, yeah. goddamn, this shit on the same vibe as the mixtape. Yeah. But shit, what's the fucking at least, difference? At least there's logic in, in, in your explanation there. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So like, like that. Oh, I, I mean, I do kind of like the same type of shit, but it's not the same shit, though. Yeah, I wow. talk about a lot yeah. of females and yeah. a lot of getting yeah. fucked up in my music and shit like that. And yeah, yeah. J. Cole's more of a conscious. Conscious, yeah. So when, so when and then the with like Big Crit. The same as well. Yeah. yeah. I fool you. You know, you. and then like you. with Big Crit, it's like a lot of his music is like, a lot of my music is slow too, and I think that's yeah. why Carissa was saying that shit, but it's slow on a different type of vibe, though, because like- yeah. Crit, his slow was like a different type of slow. You, you got that kind of psychedelic. Yeah. Uh, like, nigga, get fucked music. up. Yeah, nigga, yeah. get Real drunk, psychedelic. smoke some salt, so- do what you nah, do. Nah, and listen and to, shit. yeah, listen to his <laughs> shit. Like, I got a nighttime vibe, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. My shit is nighttime. Like, nigga, I, I, I've always said that shit. Like, listen to my shit at night. Yeah. You're going to have a total different experience than when you're listening to it at in the day. Hey, yeah. Get I fucked up. Get high. Whatever you do, whatever your shit of. Pick your is, vice, uh, baby. Yo, whatever your vice of choice is, do that shit and listen to it when the sun go down and you're going to feel Drake Kelly. Yeah, got that Drake <laughs> <laughs> You're going to feel where I'm coming from because that's where I be creating that. During the day, I'm moving around and I'm doing the one too. You know hey, what I'm saying? And the song you should listen to from Jay Keely, C'est La Vie. C'est La Vie. Yes, And sir. you should go and check out that video. Because it was a oh, nice yeah. ass video. Shouts out to Tilo Guapo. Oh, yeah, shit. My nigga. You know, we ain't forgot about you, baby. I see you out here working. IG shit. Okay. All right. So, this is this is the one that we're going to wrap this shit up real quick. Okay. But um, I want you to break something down for me, though. Because I was listening to, I be listening, man. I be listening. I be watching. I see that. I was listening to the lyrics. Hints to how I got you. Used to be Menace. Mm-hmm, All this good mm-hmm, type of mm-hmm, stuff, mm-hmm. man. I pay attention though, bro. I might not speak on too many things, but I pay attention. So, you got um, first off. I'm gonna give you the lyrics. I did this a little bit with Roger. You give me the song. I want you to tell me what song this is from. Oh shit! My Cause sometimes, song? yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Sometimes the nigga forget though. <laughs> sometimes the nigga <laughs> yeah, do forget that. though. Yeah, man, it'd be a lot, man. Right, it'd be a cool. lot, man. Being an artist is a lot of work, man. People don't understand. Cool. No, they don't. You tell me the last song. You came up with a motherfucking song, or you wrote some lyrics for a song. That song did not write itself, goddammit. I mean, like, on, <laughs> and we got a lot put, of these bitches. Don't put two rhymes together, <laughs> you know what I mean? You like, did, you did, you know. Right, so, like, all right, so, pressure makes diamonds. Yes. They closer to my icons. They further than my day ones, mm. but the bloodline same one. Okay, so I, I know the song. That's over here. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Give it to him how you gave it to him because I kind of chopped okay. it up a little so, bit. <coughs> uh, what was it? Pressure uh, makes diamonds. I might even need to read my own lyrics, honestly, bro. There you go. The there you go. Do your, th- do your thing. Pressure makes okay, diamonds. Yo. Pressure makes diamonds. They closer to my icons. They further off my day ones. Yeah, that's it. Uh, but the bloodline, same one. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Go yeah, check yeah, that yeah. track out, y'all. Go over check here, that track yeah. out, yeah. Over here. Hold up, is that the one with the video? Yeah, I'll yeah, video out today. Yeah, 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 he got a video for that. Yeah, Check yeah, that yeah. shit out. Pressure Check that, you did it in Miami, right? Yes, sir. Okay. okay, so you got the first part of that question. Okay. You got the track. Okay. So let me ask you this. What you mean by all of that? What what is yeah. your what 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 is the meaning behind these lyrics? Yeah yeah yeah. Let me where let you me, where where Tim and Jay coming so. from? Look and see what you were saying. Yeah. So um, be like that, baby. I mean, it, it's it's I'm pretty. In that crown. You know what I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty <laughs> straightforward. Pressure makes diamonds. I think we can all relate to that, right? Do you know what I mean? Definitely me. I like to work under pressure. Mm-hmm. And when I do, I typically have a good output. Okay. So pressure makes diamonds. So you work better under pressure. Okay. I don't know about better. I work good in. I look, work well in either kind of circumstances. Maybe, okay. Maybe. Okay. I don't know. Um, uh, day closer. Okay, so it's day closer to get my Get some of that icons. behind the scenes for me too, though. I'm sorry, bro. No, get, get some it. of that. Get some more behind the scenes and then do what your uh, 
uh, with the camera for IG, all that good shit. We trying to look out for everybody, so we just trying to give y'all a little okay. bit of everything. We almost wrapped up, y'all, so we just trying to get the little finish for a minute. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. So Fresh Makes Diamonds, we know what that means. Um, day closer to my icons because I keep working. I mean, I'm getting to where I want to be, and that's uh, closer to my icons, right? Okay. Um, day further from my day ones. You know how it is. As you continue to progress in life uh, and grow, those who aren't able to grow with you get left behind. Yeah, too. So Cut that so day weight off. Day further from my day ones, right? Okay. Uh, but the bloodline, same one. So what that is saying is you got the day ones, but then you got people who you consider your bloodline, your family, right. uh, and even some friends that you consider Even family. if it's not actually blood and exactly. shit. Right, right, right. Still right. your bloodline. So even though I, I'm moving forward in my life, those who can't grow with me get left behind. Those who can uh, are still there. So that's why I say. How you feel about leaving them ones behind though, man? How you feel about it? Zero fucks, Zero bro. fucks, like, you right. Can't, you got... We've got no time to care about people who can't keep up. Do you know what I mean? Right, like, right. We, we have to stay and working, it's the whole striving. Thing. It's not even about keeping up, though. Yeah. It's about just supporting it sometimes, though. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you'll talk to some people that's close to you, whatever. And like we were talking about earlier, like you'll get to spitting out some things that's a little bit premature. Yep. And you're not getting back that energy from that people. Like, they're supposed to be your day ones. You're yeah, not yeah, getting yeah. back that energy. Like, like, bro, you ain't as excited as about this as yeah. I am. Like, bro, yeah. listen, this this is this is positive for me and you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and yeah you, they're, they're not gonna think that. And honestly, Sensei, my cousin, he was just telling me this mm-hmm. uh, over the break because okay. I, I I brought that out to him pretty much what you said there, and uh, he was like, "Hold on a second, is that like, why do you care? Do you know what I mean? Why do you want their validation? Why? Do you know what I mean? Like, why?" why? Because of the we human. Yeah, I know. And at the I end know, of the day, know, we know, want know, that we know, want that validation from our I peoples know. that's supposed to be our peoples. Like, bro, you doing your thing. I know. But you're not gonna get it. So the sooner you exactly. can the sooner you exactly. can detach yourself from that, I think, the the better. Y'all hear that? So you hear that? Straight facts. A lot of times man. you're gonna get that support from people that ain't even in the circle, people that don't even know you. You're gonna get more support from that's that. Than what you gonna get from that family, you know? So, and I mean, it is what it is. We don't hold no grudges. It is what it is. And at the end of the day, it's all love. Your you bloodline know. gonna still be there for you. Exactly. You know I mean? But sometimes yeah. you just gotta make believers out of non-believers. Hundreds. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And with that being said, y'all, this has been another Jeez. good uh, session. Uh, creative talks in the house. Wow. We here with my guy Timmy J. It's been like a good two hours. I hope y'all checked out the whole interview, man, the whole podcast, because yeah, it's been a lot of good material going on, a lot of fun times, all that good type of stuff. Hey, introduce yourself. Well, let them know who you is, where they can find your music yeah, at, yeah, what you yeah, is yeah, on social yeah. media, all that good type of so, stuff. Let them know. The Run it down. name is Tim Ajayi. 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 A-J-A-Y-I. You can find me on all social media platforms at one Tim Ajayi. Mm-hmm. So one Tim a J A Y I at one Tim Ajayi. There you go. There you go. Yeah, man. Put hey, the, listen, real quick. My name's unique, so like, pff, if you can't find me, then that's on you. you feel <laughs> me, Search that Google wherever you're gonna find me. So bottom line, hey, take 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 the maxes. Oh show, shit, show on the maxes, bro. Because you know I know mean, he wanted to show put, the maxes. I put the fresh man. maxes on. He was, he was kind of sorry that we got behind the desk. <laughs> that we had, we got put behind the, the bar over here. It was just a better doing it here, here though. So I let, said, let go ahead and go and style go. on him. Go ahead and style uh, on him. He's fresh uh, over here. You know, damn. he had to do the maxes. Oh. He had to do the maxes. You can't even see it right now. Okay, here we go. He good? You go. can see it? No, All he, right. So I was he, even going to do the whole interview like this. You know what I'm saying? Interview. He should have. He should oh, have. Man, look at these. You know, he Jeez. in the maxes. I'm over here. Oh, in the oh shit. I don't want to push back too far. Got on it. this motherfucking seat, but you know, <laughs> we, we all about the kicks over here, man. You know what I'm saying? So we got the phones. We got the we got the maxes. Uh, we just styling <laughs> out, and uh, it is what it is, man. Hey, look, is, man. y'all stay tuned, man. I appreciate everybody that stayed yes, tuned sir. in on this session. This is Creative Talks podcast number three with Tim and Jay from from the UK, based in in, in Orlando, Miami ish. You know what I'm saying? Global, uh, worldwide. Y'all look out for that new one, man. Creative Space uh, Talks podcast for we're gonna be coming soon and we're just gonna keep this thing going for y'all man let us know how y'all feel about it hit us up on um creative space productions on the ig 
uh, you know, it's right here. Hit us up on there. Let us know how y'all been feeling about these podcasts. Any questions, anything that y'all want us to do different, whatever the case may be, whatever it is, man. It's an open market. It's an open open door policy over here, man. So just let us know what y'all feeling about things, and we're going we gonna to go from there. But I hope y'all enjoying everything. And uh, yeah. shouts out to my guy, Tim and Jay. Y'all going to check all that good shit out. Good session, Easy. man. Peace. One time. One time, one time. Don't cut it. You cut it. Man. Play, play. You got some music to play on the, on the speakers on your Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good session, though, man. Yeah, that's tough, bro. I'm going to cut this over here, though. Oh, Well, we clear it. We, we, yeah, yeah, hit him with that. I think he took that. He, did he take it upstairs? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Bring the speaker. Bring the speaker over here. It's that cloudy skies, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, shit, yeah, we're still alive with a dumb note. Cloudy skies, cloudy skies let's drop this one out on all streaming platforms. Get me. Cloudy skies keep passing me by. That's why I feel alive without you. Tell them, son. 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 Tell them,